Hello? I would like to... <laughs> My voice sounds... Wait, where am I? Wait. <laughs> My voice sounds really bad today. Uh, oh my god. So today, what up nerd? I'm sorry I'm late, first of all. Um, I had tech issues. My mic didn't want to pick up for some reason. Yeah, your voice sounds off lovely. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hello. So today will probably be a short stream. And I mean actually short because um my throat is not bueno. It is not very cash money. Why are you so husky? I don't even know what you call this. Is your voice cursed to feel that way? Yeah, yeah, I can only blame myself because I keep streaming and not taking a break. So um, this stream is gonna be three, four hours max. Yeah, mm-hmm. Why is your voice worse? I don't know. It's all my own fault, bros. It's my own fault, homies. <laughs> Can you talk like how you talk off stream? What? You you mean just like not talking at all? What do you mean, Sherry? Hi, Scarlet. What donuts you get? I there wasn't much, our young. I went. This is what I get for going to the donut shop at night time. They almost had nothing. Thank you, our young crazy pop. Oh my God, office lady voice. My voice now, Stalka Goonie, I know you there. I am here, New York. Thank you for all the pre stream soup pies. Let know like how you talk IRL. What do you mean? This is how I talk IRL. Like, bro, I dropped the mommy voice act day one at debut. How I talk on stream, if I'm cool with you, is how I talk like generally. Unless you mean how I talk to my mom. Hi, mom. Yeah, no. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you mean like my half ass. The dead ass emo voice. I only talk like that to my mom. Oh my god. I forgot how you usually sound. I would hope not. My god. Yeah, that's another point. I barely talk IRL. Anyway, you're gonna take a dab tomorrow, right? Right? Well, today is gonna be like three, four hours max. Thank you, Luis PJ, for your soup. Uh, I can, Mr. Hiragurisa, I cannot scream at you right now, okay? Shush. I cannot scream at you right now, bro. Thank you so much, Mr. Hiragurisa. Thank you so much for the 20 gifted members. If you got a gifted member from Mr. Hiragurisa, make sure you thank him. Thank you, Mr. Hiragurisa. You are lucky that I cannot choke you into oblivion right now. Okay. And what donuts did you get? Not many. I went to the donut shop like evening time. And of course, there was barely anything because I guess they usually have stuff in the morning. So I probably should have just gone in the morning, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Stalka Guni, hi, Nior. Human Shrek, thank you for the apprenticeship. Nior, thank you for more pre jazzle fuzz. Um, daily head pads and smoochies, the strawberry dressed gooby thank you Nior. thank you honey dibs on any booba strawberries there will be no booba strawberries here boobs Nior, stop being nasty bap bap bonk that is right i will smack with you Nior. and it rains scarling thank you for so fast del stars hello chad how are you today hope you well i hope you're well del star thank you for Zupa. tim enjoy it's n we're not gonna do chocolate dip strawberries we're gonna do um it's like tanuru. i'm not sure but it's like a candied strawberry so i'm gonna try that today thank you tim for Zupa. arranged that's not being nasty eating them out of you know your what are you talking about Thank you, Rizupa. And thank you. Oh my god, Mr. Hero agrees to why. Thank you for another 10 gifted memories, Nior. Hey, hold on, Mr. Hero Garista. That is enough, bro. You're lucky I cannot scream at you today, Mr. Hero Garista. My throat is freaked. So you are you are freaking what's the word? You are forgiven? No. You are lucky today, Mr. Hero Garista that I cannot scream at you at the, yes, you are safe because I cannot scream at you right now. Thank you, Mr. Hiragurista again for the super 10 months. Thank you, Mwah. Spared, yes, you are spared. That I do not freaking put you in the freaking casket right now. You got it, buddy. Scarlet, your voice, oh no, I know. 
I don't know why my voice is worse today. I don't know why. I'm not really sure. Did I scream that much yesterday? Or I don't know if this is like the healing process. I don't know. You deserve all the spoilings I can muster. You are the best oh she I could ever ask. Nah, Mr. Hearing Capri dying shit. But thank you though, darling. I really appreciate it. Hold on, I'm adjusting in my chair in the kitchen. <laughs> Two hours also Guto got Baja blasted. <laughs> Why is Guto getting Baja blasted? Thank you, Rain Scarling for the super. Scarlo, know your voice. I know, Paul Bunyan, I know. So today is gonna be just very chill. I am not screaming today. Or so I say, thank you, Paul Bunyan, for Zupa. First stream that I've been able to catch for a while and your voice sounds terrible. Thanks, Coach Phil, I didn't know that. Thanks. I wasn't aware. <laughs> it's my own fault though. I think I kind of went too crazy when my mom was here yesterday. So now my voice sounds like this. Evening, Scarl, you don't sound too good. Please consider taking a day off to rest your voice. Today's gonna be short. Today's gonna be very short, Notorious. Thank you, we're the super, thank you. As long as I don't like scream, it should be okay. Wait, where is, there you go. Wait. Ew, my hair. Hope you're feeling better, Scarl. Drink some honey. I will, Isaiah. Thank you for the super, darling. Like the only thing that will really like help my voice is if I just like stop talk, like stop screaming and actually rest, give my voice a chance to rest. Get yourself some tea with honey to help the throat. Beautiful. I'm off for a week now, so I will notice if you act like a goober. Love you, thick comes love you, Tarja. Thank you so much. I like you and you. Girl is willing to do anything but take a day off because I want to stream. Maybe I'll take a day off. Hmm. Uh, let me see. Is what are what's coming up that will I'll take a day off? I don't know. Hmm. I will think about it. Thank you, Louise PJ for super. Can you show your tits? You first. Could you get some sore throat lorings? Eh? Well, not right now. I don't have any right now. Mm -mm. Yeah, just got back to using TTS to talk with us. Maybe we'll do a TTS stream later. Not today, though, of course. Mm -mm -mm. Taking a day off, if you will, will probably be better for your voice in the long run. I know. Like, that's literally what um, the doctor said the other day. They were like, you should probably, like, you know, chill and take a day off. And I'm like, okay, I, I might, I might take a day off. I'm about to go to bed. What's you cooking? Hi, SA Soldier. How are you, darling? I'm going to make strawberries and I'm going to candy them eventually. Thank you, SA Soldier. So far. Thank you. I mean, Scarlett, we love you so much. We get worried, you know, you taking a day or less would worry a little. Maybe, hmm. Maybe like Tuesday, Wednesday or something, I'll take a day off maybe saving up for the wedding ring for who human shrek for me or my mom thank you for the super human shrek even madison should be telling you to take care of her voice she always does it feels more peaceful to me with this voice rubs belly care bear style oh that's so cute thank you kuyasada for the super yeah i'm just gonna have to sound like this for a while <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, Scarlet, Constitution, save Guto, mend, butt crack. <laughs> what the freak are you guys doing? Thank you, I mean, Scarlet, for your super. At minimum, try not to do the typical six, eight hour streams. Yeah, I think that too. And because I kind of been like ODing streaming hours lately, I think definitely like cutting down would be a little helpful, I think. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah. I sound so lustrous, lustrous. I'm not sure if that's the word. Mm -hmm. Be careful how sugar can extremely hot and burn. Yeah, I've, I've made something similar before. Like back before Niji, I made like a vampire kind of um drink and I can and I made the candied room. Yeah, I just hope I don't fuck up the pans. That's what I hope. I just hope I don't fuck it up. While you're speaking from your diaphragm, which is good. I mean, I'm trying. Oh my God, you guys, man. First of all, I just want to chat about things first. Let me just chat about things. So, um, 
some horrendousness for me. Um, I think my exploding head syndrome's coming back. <laughs> for those who don't know, um, exploding head syndrome is basically where you try to like sleep, but your brain like noises come off and shit. Like when you're trying to sleep, I haven't watched your streams in a while. Sounds so off. It's just, you know, I don't know how to take care of my voice, Cresswell. Have your voice recovers. Thank you. I will. Today's going to be a shorter stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, those are the worst. Oh, yeah. See, for me, it was like, like, see, but I've had exploding head syndrome before. Before, it was like radio static noise, like, and yeah, for those who don't know, radio head syndrome is basically like, it's like a sleeping thing, like you're trying to sleep, like you're in that half awake, half asleep thing. And you're like in the early stages of sleeping. And then your brain kind of just, you just hear noises that are like not there. And it could be like gunshots. It could be just screams. Like it could be door slamming. For me, it used to be like radio static. And it would just be like, it felt like forever. It would just be like, and it wouldn't go away until I would wake up. I'm like, God darn. And you would think there's something there, but yeah. What's up with VTubers and crazy health conditions? I mean, I think a lot of people in the world have crazy health conditions because we're on the internet and we talk about it. It's more out there, you know? Oh man, I've had that since childhood, really? Mine is almost like loud slapping bangs with a flash of TV static. Absolutely jolts me and I'm used to it. See, for me, it's like irritating. Thank you, a pickled cucumber for the soup, but thank you. Is there any way to help it? I've, I've gone to the doctor for it before and they kind of just told me that I needed to um, sleep better, not be stressed. Like, don't be stressed. So yeah, let me just like not be stressed for a second. And they told me to just keep a consistent sleeping schedule. And they said that should fix it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most people have issues, VTubers. We just talk on the internet. So that's why you know exactly. But this time it was different. I went to bed and it was a very odd. It was this time it was like, like a bird, not a bird, like a bug, like a fly buzzing, like, mm, eh. and I was like, oh, this is so annoying. Hello, soulmate. Thank you for joining the apprenticeship, honey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And what do you call it? And it was like a weird dream at first. It was a dream that like, it's like peripheral that I could see that I was in my bed, but it was like I was in a box or something. Like there was something blocking like my face. So I couldn't like move my head at all. Like if I was, my head was like blocked by a box or something, I don't know. And then I felt, I saw, I heard like a bee, like a buzz, like a bug buzzing, like a fly or a bee. It's like, mm. and then I felt a strange feeling. It was like a cat. It was like a cat crawling on my bed, like on me. And after that, I freaked out. And I was like, I, I woke up and I was like, please tell me there's not like a rat in my room. Oh my God. And then I woke up, I searched everywhere and I was like, um, there's no bug, there's no freaking, um, what do you call it? There's no rat, thank God. Sleep paralysis, I've had sleep paralysis before. And um, it's not fun, it's not, it's kind of very scary, especially because when you have sleep paralysis, you're not really sure if you're awake or not. Like when I have sleep paralysis, I can like see like my room. Like it's like I'm awake, like my eyes are open and I'm in my bed. And you know, it feels really real. So you're not really sure if you're like awake or if you're asleep or any of that, you know? Mm-hmm. See, uh, see, and then I woke up and I was like, fucking balls, don't tell me I have it again. So I try to just like take my mind off of it because then I was scared that there was like rats on my room or something because I felt in the dream, it was like some, like a cat was crawling on me and then I didn't see anything. So I was looking, mm -hmm. then you'll learn to control it. See, I, my, my dreams are very, I had like another one after that. So after I woke up and freaked out, I tried to just, ease myself i put on mo i pulled on i i literally started re-watching mobile suit gundam to episode three because the last time i was watching it i was watching it while i was working so i didn't get the 
what do you call I didn't get to really pay attention so I was re-watching Mobile Suit Gundam Seed until episode three and then I knocked out again and then I had a very another very very weird very very um vivid dream and I'm going to tell you it. I wrote it down and everything. See, now I have a habit of writing down my dreams because they're all so insane. Why can't you have Gundam dreams, bro? If only, if only I could just have dreams about Gundam. That'd be so much better. Let me see, let me see. So yeah, this dream was so weird. Okay, so this dream was me in my living room. And I don't know if I don't think I've I don't know if I've talked about it before, but in my living room, I have like a big grandfather clock and it's one that my landlord has had for a really long time. And in the dream, I saw like something hiding in there or like running past it. And I was like, is that like a fly or a rat or something? And then I went up to it, it like, OK, this, this is also a dream and it's very weird. OK, it's a very weird dream. So I went up to the grandfather clock. And I saw there was like a little bird, like a little white bird. And my brain went, huh, maybe it was because of the Easter eggs I hid in the house. Maybe they somehow fertilized and hatched like a bird. Like I said, this was a dream. It made no fucking sense. And then this is where it gets really weird. I see a little girl behind my grandfather clock. And I was like, who is this little girl? It was really, really weird. And um, let me see, I wrote it all down. Let me see. No, it was really, no, it wasn't like a scary one. It was like a really pretty, very, like a beautiful, gorgeous, well-spoken little girl. And I was like, what are you doing here? Why are you just behind my grandfather clock? And I was like, how long have you been here? And she says, I've been behind here for over a year. And I'm like, why are you here? It was so weird. Like, I cannot make this shit up. Like, I cannot make these kind of dreams up. Like, it was really weird. And I was like, have you just been back here this whole time? Like, do you, what's your name? And she told me her name was Aimi. And I was like, that's very odd. And I'm, and she spelled it out for me. It was A-I-M-I, -I, like Aimi. And I'm like, that is interesting. I'm like, okay. And I was asking her like, where are you from? Like, do you have any, any memory, memory of like anything that you can tell me? Cause in the dream, I was like, there's this really strange, like very beautiful little girl that's just behind my grandfather clock. And she's telling me she's been in there for over a year. And I was like, well, do you remember anything, bro? And this is kind of very odd. It was very, very odd. She told me, I was like, do you remember anything? Like, is there anything you can tell me so I can like help you find your parents or like, you know? And she told, no, just I and me, no last name, that was it. And she said, if I wanted to know more about her, I could ask this person. And it was a name. And it was a name of someone that I know IRL. And I was like, it was very odd because this person like she dropped the name of a person I knew, IRL. Like, and I don't talk to this person anymore. It wasn't like a big falling out or something weird like that. It was a person that I talked to a little bit. They did something I didn't really like. So we just kind of drifted apart and I stopped talking to them and I just never, I never talked to them again. It's been like years at this point. And she said, yeah, she said, if you want to know more about me, ask this person and in the dream i was like debating trying to message them and be like hey so i met this girl behind a grandfather clock do you know anything about this that's unfortunate i guess nah it's not <laughs> it's pretty i'm happy i don't talk to them anymore so not really and um yeah she told me to ask this person like i said it was ironic it was very ironic because it was someone i know irl that i don't talk to anymore and in the dream, I was like debating on messaging them, being like, do you know anything about this? And that was it. It was very interesting. Like, cause all my family was here in this house and your dream is clearly a metaphor. I don't know, bro. Thank you, Life Giving Lemons for Supa. Aimee is a clock brand. Wait, really? Wait, legit? 
Wait, really? Just to know, oh no, I have no idea who I am is. I've never heard that name before. I've never heard a name like that before. I know a, a similar name that's a little closer to home for me, but it's not I am me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hi, Pudgy, hi, darling. Yeah, it's very, that's crazy. And in the dream, I just remember a lot of my family being here in like this, in this house, which is ironic because I don't live with my family in here. I like rent and, and what do you call it? And in the dream was like me trying to figure out like, what do we do with this girl? Like, we're not gonna put her in the system. Maybe like some of our family can take her. Like I was like talking to my aunt cause my aunt has like a teenage daughter. And I was like, oh, like, Maybe she'd get along with my cousin. And then I was like, hmm. Then I kind of got really attached to her because she would always be by my side. I would brush her hair. I'd made her food. And I was like, well, maybe you can just stay here with me. And it was so weird because the whole time I'm just like trying to figure out where she came from because she, you can't just hide like, you know, realistically, you cannot just hide behind a grandfather clock for a year and be okay. Do you usually get vivid dreams? Yes, like ever since I was a kid, I've always had very, very vivid dreams. Like this is normal for me. I mean, is a my girl's name meaning beautiful love? Oh, so pretty. Thank you, Irene Scarling for super. Thank you. And then like I had another weird dream like right after that. I like literally is like freaking just time skip. I was in a, a plane or something. I don't know what it was, but I was in this plane and it was like, we just landed and I was next to people I didn't know. And like, and I was looking for a ticket. It was like a, like if you go to Joanne's Fabrics or stores where they have the pullout ticket, like if you're, you know, waiting to get at the cut counter for Joanne's, you would pull the ticket and it would say like a A37. See, I don't even remember what the number was in my dream. It said A something. and. I needed that little ticket to get off and to get out of the, like I had a deboard, you know, and then I had to get through like a customs. I don't know what it was, but in the dream, I had to, I had to have that ticket to get out. And it was, it was a very weird dream chat. I know it's really weird. And I was trying to look, I was looking everywhere in my seat for this ticket. I found other tickets, but I, it just didn't feel like it was mine. And then, um, then I was looking on the ground and I just kept finding more tickets and none of them were mine. And I'm like, I don't know if they'll let me off the plane because these are for a different flight. I don't know. Come and play with me. Oh my God, Scott Graham. No, this is another reference you probably won't get. I don't actually. Is it Chucky? Thank you, Scott Graham, for the super. And um, what do you call it? And I was looking on the floor of the plane and then at the seat next to me, you know, like the little cubbies they have on the plane, like where you can put your stuff. Can you mimic Amy's voice? It was just a little girl's voice. And then um, the little cubby for the other seat next to me had, like I was looking through it to see if I can find my ticket. And I found like a stack of cards and photos, kind of like it fell out. It was like in a position where it looked like it flipped out of someone's wallet. And it was just like a stack of pictures and like an identification card from like another country of this woman, which kind of looked familiar, like an elder Hispanic woman. And she looked familiar, but I didn't know who it was. And I was like, oh no, someone probably lost their cards and their money and their pictures and their ID cards. So I took it with me so I could give it to the plain person. And then I got off the plane and it was like this weird gated cage area where, you know, there was like one guard at each cage and you had to like stand in this box. And if there was more than one person in the box, it would like go red and you couldn't get out. So I think I was like kind of anxious. So I kept accidentally going ahead when it was another person's turn. And then I was like, oh, sorry. And then I would back out. And then it was these two, I remember one black haired girl with glasses who was kind of like a little alt nerdy looking, not nerdy, but like you could tell she probably, I don't know how to describe it. Like black hair, glasses, t-shirt of a band, like cargo pants, stuff like that. And then she like hugged me when I was trying to wait in line. It was very interesting. And then she left and then it was my turn to get in the box. And I remember I was freaking out because I still didn't have my ticket. 
and I don't remember anything happening about it, but I just remember about to be let go. And I saw my siblings outside the gates. And I remember, I don't even remember if I even got through, but I remember being with my siblings after. And I remember being like, okay, what do we do now? Okay, I'm here. And then I woke up. A clock could represent time and someone hiding behind it could represent someone beyond the present or in the future. Sounds wild, but it could be your future. I don't want to <laughs> See, I don't even want kids, Nior. <laughs> Thank you for the Zupa. Which is ironic you say that, Nior, because in the dream, I kind of was trying to see if my family would be willing to like, like I was asking my aunt, like, could she take care of her? Or I was asking my mom or my grandma, like, what do we do with her? But at the end, I was the one who ended up like kind of adopting her, I guess, and taking care of her. It's very odd. So yeah, that was probably one of the weirdest dreams I've ever had. For those who are just coming in, I had a really weird dream about a girl, a little girl behind my grandfather clock that's in my house. And she was in there, she was behind it for like over a year and like no one ever heard or seen her. Last ditch effort is probably your 70 body to give you material. Oh my fucking God, Mythic. Dreams are wild and sometimes crazy as hell. They are, they are. Send it to Chill's Arts. Bro, low key, I've debated like on, on sending like my dream or just occurrences to like like companies like the fears of fathom because some of my 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 game what do you call it some of my dreams and just experiences are just fucking weird so yeah does your dreams have an intro outro mine have credits no mine are kind of like they always feel very real like all of my dreams feel so real at the time when they're happening and then it's not until I wake up that I was like, oh, wait, the girl's gone. Oh no, what happened? Mm. Some of your dreams seem like pitches for books. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think, I don't know if there's enough context in mind for books. But yeah, that was, that was the weird dream I had last night. My dreams are usually in third person for some reason. I never really am myself in my dream. See, I'm usually in myself in the dream. That's why they usually feel very real to me. <laughs> yeah. Hello, hi, Shonen Kaiju. God, Salon, you look so scared. Anything can be a book if you're stubborn enough. True, true. True, Flair. Uh, my dreams have a lot of time are a uh, part of Big Connected Story, but I never get to see in the end. Me too. Like, I don't, I wish I knew what happened to the girl. I just, I don't know. That, that part still kind of irks something in me. Like, that's why, like, I've been thinking about it all day. Like, I have a dream about a little girl that's been behind my grandfather clock for a year. And she said, if you want to know about me, ask this person. And it was a person that I used to talk to IRL and like don't talk to anymore. So it was just very interesting. I can be your sleeping buddy, Mirena. Thank you, Human Shrek. Thank you, baby. Thank you for our sofa, Human Shrek. Can I leave you with an important revelation? What's a revelation? For me, it sounds like you have been really stressed in between white noise. This dream is a signal you need a little rest sincerely. My, uh, maybe. I would be like, LOL, no thanks. I don't wanna know more about you. Well, it's very interesting because like the girl, the little girl wasn't creepy at all. Like, I wish I could draw a picture. Like, she was really a beautiful girl. She was, like, small. She had, like, tan skin. She had, like, golden brown curly hair. And she had, like, either brownish or, like, greeny brown eyes. And I was like, it was very, she was very beautiful. How old was she? Like, really young. Like, maybe, like, seven, eight. Like, very young. But she was very... She could talk very well. Like it was not like a, like a baby. It was like a child that could talk very well. And yeah, that's why I was like, it's a shame that this girl's back here because she seems very smart. She seems very eloquent. She seems very well-spoken. What is she doing here? You know, a younger you perhaps? I don't think so. Cause I have like dark wavy hair. That's not me. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think she's the personification of the grandfather clock. Maybe. Dreams are just our subconscious making sense of our feelings. Well, what am I feeling like giving lemons? Putting them into a visual sense and due to them being subconscious, they aren't very articulate. True. 
Well, I don't believe in supernatural stuff, but I have had dreams where my grandma, or my great grandma, right before she died, and my aunt convinced she came to say hi. Aww. See, like, I had something like that too. It was like right before, like, it was like, it was very interesting. Like, obviously, you know, b believe what, you know, obviously, you know, keep your, you know, what, what, what you believe, believe, you know, but then you don't have to, you know, y you get what I'm trying to say. I had a dream, like a lot of my family had dreams of my grandpa, which I told you guys, my grandpa was like a dad to me. Like for the first 12 years of my life, I was raised by my grandparents. So when my grand, it was like really hard for me because it was Loki, it was like I was losing my dad, you know? And what do you call it? Let me see. When he passed away, a lot of us had dreams and it was kind of very odd because each of us had very specific things. Like my grandma only dreamed of him in Spanish. Like he would only speak Spanish. And then my aunt had a dream where my grandpa would cry. My mom had dreams where like he wouldn't talk. And even in my dream, my grandpa wouldn't talk. It's very ironic um, that like right before, or like, no, it was like a little after he passed away. Like I had like even a little after, like I've had multiple dreams of like my grandpa. Like I remember it was very odd. One of the first one was when I was at like a school area, like a kindergarten or like a first grade, but like all of us were there, like my whole family was there. It was kind of, cause none of, cause none of our, none of the people in my family are like little kids. Like I don't have like young, young kids in my family cause they're all grown up now. And I remember everyone was there and I remember we all went to sit outside like at a table, like a bench table or whatever. And my grandpa was there like just smiling, sitting in front of my grandma, like behind my grandma. And I was like, grandpa, what are you doing here? And then he just went shh and just kept looking at my grandma. And then I think like the next day I had another dream and it was me at my school and it was me in my big lecture hall. And I saw my grandpa just like sitting like on the, on the benches outside of, like at the bottom of the lecture hall. And I was like, what are you doing here? And again, he like didn't talk. He didn't say anything. He kind of just like patted the, like the seat to sit next to him. And I don't know, it's very interesting how my grandpa does not talk in my dreams. In my aunt's dream, my grandpa cries. In my grandma's dream, my grandpa only speaks Spanish. It's just very interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I let you out of the plane without a ticket with someone's property whose image seems familiar. Well, defined face in a dream is someone you know IRL. That's what I've heard too. Like I've heard that sometimes your dream, your brain like subconsciously remembers other people's faces. So even if you don't know them, if you've maybe seen them in public or something, your brain supposedly, like I don't know anything, like I'm not a freaking psychologist or anything. Like this is just me talking out of my ass that your brain might, you know, keep that, like hold on to it maybe like in your subconscious so you might like see them in dreams. I've heard that before. Thank you, Rain Scarling for Supa. Hi, Muffin. Your voice is dead just like my wallet from my gotcha. My God, Muffin. <laughs> Not the gotcha buns. Ah, oh, my God. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hi, Scott Graham. Maybe Aimi is a representation of the Scarlings. We've been around for a year. I mean, it's almost been two years and your adoption of her was supposed to represent the Latina mom. You robbed us. Oh my fucking God, Scott Graham. No, I disagree. No, 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 no. Thank you, Scott Graham, for the super. Thank you, thank you. Mm-mm, mm-mm, Ha, <sighs> yeah. Could be just watching over you, maybe. Remind, rem rename ourselves to Ayumi? No. It was just very odd. Mm-hmm. Like... Yeah, like I said, it's very interesting because the name Ayami hits kind of close by a couple letters or like one that's very close to me. So to me, it was just very, very interesting that that name is very specific. Mm hmm. Congratulations on being a future parent. Oh my God, Louis PJ. Thank you for Supa. Ayumi, I don't know who that is. I don't, I'm, I'm not that name. Uh, not that one, Ariel. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. 
Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Ruby. Hi, darling. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was I'm Speechless. Why? Perhaps an older childhood friend name. No, I've never had a friend name that name. And like I said, that name, like, if you remove a letter, that obviously I will not say. But like I said, it's just very ironic because that name, if I just remove one letter, is very close to me. So I don't know. Do you think the little girl is like a projection of you in some way then if the name is close? I don't know, man. It's just so weird. And like, you know, a part of me is just trying to not think about it. It's like, it's just a dream, you know? But it was just very odd. It was just very, very odd. <laughs> Over your throat's okay. Be good to yourself. I am dumb. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you, honey. Um, we getting in the deep waters. Yeah, bro. Like there is sometimes I'm like, I need a whole dream analysis thing or something so that I could just pull apart of what these mean. The dreams are so close as you get close to a new type, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's worth thinking about because you're dreaming about something that you haven't noticed is on your mind. Then I must have a lot of things on my mind. Oh my God. Congrats on your new ghost dream child. Enjoy the gift of your parenthood. I'm not a fucking parent, you better. Scarlings become your psychotherapist trying to uncover your dreams and their meaning, bro, for real. Thank you, Katsuan. Well, I don't really know how to help in this one. Well, that's okay. There's like nothing to help, of course, you know? It's just a weird dream I had, that's it. Besides the things I already said, I can only send the best energy I can and say I'm here for you. Thank you, Guto. I really appreciate it. And like, don't worry, there's obviously like nothing there's to be done really, you know? <laughs> I've been having lots of nightmares recently. I had one involving you a few days ago. Really? Holy shit, I'm, I'm hoping it wasn't a bad, bad dream. Bro, I'm not fucking pregnant. You guys are ridiculous. Was that the only time you've had a ghost dream though? See, but in my dream, she wasn't like a ghost. In my dream, she was like a full-fledged real person. I've never had a ghost dream in my life. Yeah, see, no, in my dream, she wasn't a ghost. She was like a full-fledged child. Like when I found her, she was full of like cobwebs in her hair and like dust. That's why it was like, huh. Y yeah, it was like one of those. And she seemed fine healthy which was very weird literally the opening persona wait what wait i don't remember that wait what how far alone are you how far alone are you alone what what do you mean trophies thank you for sleep all one month how far alone are you along i'm not fucking pregnant oh my god i swear to fucking god i'm not pregnant some night ghosts can appear as someone a full-fledged person you couldn't tell the difference well, I don't know, bro. Like I said, I don't even know. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Dom, I would never do that. Besides, can't even message people on Twitter like that. <laughs> Get in trouble. <laughs> oh, Dom, don't worry. I will never tell you to turn it down. Hello, ex bread, dog loves bread and hungry jacks. Thank you for the super apprenticeship. No, Dom had a dream that I went in their DMs and told them they were a bad chatter. <laughs> Who's the dad? No one. The protagonist in Persona 3 talks to a young boy in the middle of the night. Did I just have a persona? Wait, 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 wait. Did I just have a very odd persona dream? Is that all it is? You're a great content. Scott Graham, I fucking swear to God. Chat, what is your problem? Thank you for the super. I'm not pregnant, chat. I'm not pregnant. Yeah, cause that's very odd. Cause the dream, it was a girl behind my grandfather clock. And she, it was like a little girl who's been there for a while. I mean, you have been playing a game where you wake up to a kid spying on you every night. Oh my God, that is true. Maybe it was all just a persona dream. Oh man, I'm not pregnant. Oh my God, chat. Wouldn't be surprising your brain just remixed Persona 3 you've been playing it lately. Dreams are wacky, true, true, true. Yeah, now, well, I guess that makes me a little, I guess that makes me feel a little better. Let me drink. Ooh. Ah. Well, how are you doing, chatta? Anything cool and spectacular happened to you today? Hello, Atarashi. Hi, darling. What? Congrats. You're pregnant. Congrats. 
That's a rashi. You got seven months to go, baby. <laughs> you got two months. That's a rashi. Thank you for sleeping seven months. Thank you, darling. Ah. I'm working on applying for my diploma. Congratulations, Ruby. Thank you. I bought tickets for an online concert. Yay, Katsuan. Have you have fun, darling? How can someone old as heck get a child at your age? Cool, yes, I'm gonna fucking hurt you. I'm gonna, you're, you're lucky I cannot scream at you right now, Kuyasada. You are lucky that I am held back by my limited speed. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what? Fuck you guys. You know what I'm gonna do? You are in the hole. How does it feel? Do you like it in here? Do you like the puckered hole? <laughs> Oh my God, do you not like it? Don't ever fuck it. Oh no. I'm, I'm just hope you don't see my nipples through my shirt in this donut reflection. Oh my God, it's nice and moist. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. But bro, man, I'm here with you. It's pretty speculative, spectacular. Thank you, Life Giving Lemons for Supa. I'm gonna eat my delicious donut. See, chat, wait, you're not topless, are you? No, I have my sleeveys, but I'm not wearing a bra, so my nipples are kind of like, you know, like icicles. Bro, I'm so sad. It's been raining so much lately. Like for the past two, three days, it's been like pouring, pouring rain, which kind of sucks because I really wanted to do my Easter video. And like, I can't because everywhere I wanted to go is like outside, so I'm like, well, I wanted to go to the beach. I wanted to like go to a sand area. I wanted to go to like a field. Like, and now I'm like, damn it, man. Hi, Farja. Guys, please, she's not a hag yet. <laughs> we love hags in this household. Another topic, Scarlet House Mama Goonie. My Thank you, Tharja, for the super. My mom, my mom called me today. She was like, oh my God, I love your chat. They spoil me so much. I'm like, what do you mean? They spoil me. She's like, no. That was mine. And I'm like, mother, whose name is on that stream labs? Whose name is on that channel? Not you, woman, not you. She's like, but it's mine. They gave me my bingo fund. And I'm like, I swear to God, this woman. <laughs> I swear to God. I love how you get envied by about Mama Goonie. Yeah, cause y'all love my mom. She thinks it's funny. Is she? See, she, like, she thinks it's really good. She's like, your chat is so sweet. They always spoil me with love and bingo funds. I'm like, I swear to God, mom. This is the last bingo fun you ever gonna fucking get. <laughs> and then she was, yeah, I posted on Twitter that she was texting me being like, the kiss is for chat, not you. The besitos are for chat, not for you, cabrona. I'm like, my God, mom. Thanks for reigniting my love for Gunpla. However, sadly, during the time I was in Japan, brought the 1030 mm Gunpla, 5HG, 2RG, and 1PG. Holy shit, cereal maker. Happy you went to Gundam. Here's my last 10 before the rest of the trip. Have a good trip, baby. Oh my God. Well, I, well, unfortunate, that sounds, what do you mean, sadly, you got a lot of Gundam. That, bro, literally, thank you, Cereal Maker, for the super. Honestly, the next time I go to Japan, I'm gonna make a list because they're so cheap over there. Like, especially with the conversion rates, they're like so cheap. So I think next time I'll just like make a list of the ones I want and then I'll just get them over there. I mean, send Gundam funds, then bingo funds. This must be something, my fucking God. Bingo funds for Mama Goonie. Stop it, Scott Graham, stop this right now. Heard Mama Goonie wants more bingo funds. You guys know, cause if she's lurking, she's gonna come out of the woodworks and demand it from me. <laughs> Thank you, Bob Bunny, for the super. Atsurashi, no. <laughs> Chato, please. <laughs> Thank you, Atarashi, for Supa. I'm so sad I missed your mom. I fell asleep. I wanted to give her my... Really, Dom? Really? Well, it's not like my mom doesn't not. She, she comes occasionally. Like, I was asking my mom. I was like, how often do you watch my streams? She's like, not that often, you freaking crazy. I'll watch your streams like every once in a while because you stream too late for me. I'm like, I know. See, I, see, I even stream too late for my mom. <laughs> how much is bingo, bro? Like, fifth? I think it depends where you go. The plays. I think you can get like a early, like a beginning set and it's like 50, 
50 to a I, there's like different sets you get like I think there's like a standard one and I think it's like 50 and then it comes with a couple like the bingo cards for like a couple games and then you get like the my pull tabs like pull tabs my family my family loves pull tabs like oh my god like everyone like my aunt my mom her like their sister my grandma my grandpa like my, my cousins my aunts my uncles my family loves going to bingo like that's their hangout place like it's crazy bro it's crazy but thank you dom for the soup but thank you darling rarely dream but honestly hate him every time i have one it looking through someone else's eye feeling like they usually fear anger or loss see my dreams are so weird i'm so sorry Nior. i hope that one day you have a good sexy dream i didn't want to tell you guys this because i knew you guys would think weird of me but do you want to hear another dream because i know you guys are gonna shit on me for this one thank you nor for the super i pray for the most delicious pleasurable dreams in your future thank you nor for the big orange super Mwah. thank you aaron macias thank you for the five gifted memes I'm, I'm gonna tell you this but i don't want you guys to fucking run through with it okay because i already know so in this dream, what do you got? See, I want to tell you guys this, but I know you guys are going to give me shit. And I know you guys are never going to let us down. Why? You will see why. Is it a sexy dream? Yes. In this dream, I don't know what it was. I was in, you know, like those carousel, not even like a carousel. You know, those like houses that look like it's, it looked like a fake house. Like it was like those fake houses that you see on like Christmas Hallmark. Like they're really tiny, like the frosted window on Christmas, like a whole like, you know, like fake snow, like a fake dog that's going ow, 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 ow. Like it was like a fake house. And I was hiding from something. I think it was cold. Literally it's cold outside. And I went in there with a person and I don't know why, but me and this person just started making out. And I don't want to tell you who it is. I don't want to tell you who it is. Just try to guess who it was. It was, it was, it was, it was Rumi Chan. And I will never tell her this. I will never tell my roommate that I dreamed of us making out in a fake Christmas Hallmark decoration house. I will never tell her, ever. No, let's go. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. No, Chathel, no, please. No, please, no. No, no, like it was full on like her grabbing my ass and shit like it was us going to town like on the floor like circling like and like fucking like we were like torpedoing through this house and Shut up Paul Bunyan. Thank you for the super. Thank you for the big orange super. Thank you. Oh my god And um, thank you Paul Bunyan. Um, fuck you. But thank you for the big orange super. Have this for being a fun mama goodie. Thank you Ensel. Thank you for the super. I rain Scarlet. I have a special strawberry cake in a jar. Shuri you got Sh Shuri I need to talk to you. Is Shuri here? I need to talk to Shuri. Shuri you're in trouble. You're not really but like I'm you're not in trouble But like hmm, you're so in trouble. Where's Shuri? Thank you, Arane Scarling, for the Supa. Here at Goofy Fun, Goofy Goober Funs. Thank you, Paul Bunny, for the Supa. I have a cold place where it comes with good vibes. Thank you, Mass Mewtwo, for the Supa. What? Hold on, I'll tell you after I finish the story. Like I, like I said, and I remember, hold on really quick. And then I woke up, and I was just like, I woke up from this dream, and I was like, uh, <laughs> what the fuck was that? My roommate is married. <laughs> she, she is affianced. She is literally getting married next summer. Why am I having a dream about making out with her, her grabbing my ass at a fake Hallmark Christmas house, and then a dog? Then we also have a dog in this house. I don't know. I did NTR the fiance. No. And I woke up and like literally on cue, like literally on cue, I woke up and it was like on a week. Wait, how? When, what day was this? I don't even remember what day it was. 
I think my roommate was either like home for the day or something. Cause like literally on cue, I see my roommate in like booty shorts and like a freaking short shirt. She's like, good morning, lazy ass. And I was like, <laughs> don't talk to me. She's like, well, why? And I'm like, listen to me. Just, just don't talk to me right now. And she's like, what's wrong? Why are you being so moody? I'm like, listen to me. This is for your own good. Don't talk to me right now. And she's like, okay, fucking fine, whatever. And I was like, fuck you too. Stop. And let me point out, let me just, again, describe like the picture of my roommate for you. I've told you guys before, my roommate's like taller than me. She's like five, six, five, seven. She's tan, she's blonde, freaking blue eyed girly. You know, she has a nice, a, a nice office nine to five with benefits. She has a fiance, she loves pink. She loves Juicy Couture and she gets her nails done. She loves pink jumpsuits. So this is the vibe. What does this dream mean though? I don't, it doesn't mean shit. This dream doesn't mean shit. This dream doesn't mean shit. But I will never tell my roommate. I will never tell her about this dream. Ever, 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 ever. You're leaning very far because I'm in, I'm, shut up. Don't, don't, I'm never telling her this. I will never tell her about this dream my god but yeah that is the dream i had a little while ago and i didn't want to tell you guys because i knew you guys would i'm gonna clip that see that's exactly why i didn't want to tell you guys this dream exactly why my god uh, kuyasada what dom said your throat girl be ease i will i promise kuyasada thank you for the super let's go lesbian dream our young shut the fuck up thank you for the super oh my god did you just came out in your dream congrats louise pj i don't date okay Thank you, Louis VJ for super. Oh my God. Uh, if we don't get a Christmas stream this year, do you want it making out with my roommates? <laughs> Thank you, Salvies, for the super. It's hard to visualize. Can you draw it for us? No. No, I can't, Dom. Thank you for the super. You know, given Rumi Chan, Rumi Chan's track record, if you told her about it into polyamorous, bro, Tharja, like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, obviously, my roommate is faithful. But before they got engaged, she was down to... <laughs> I mean, I don't know my roommate's preferences. I don't know. And I'm not gonna assume my roommate's preferences. But like I said, before she was engaged with her boyfriend, you know, during the whole breakup thing they were in, she's offered and she's i've told you guys before i've told you she's offered to help me for things i've told you guys this before i've told you like i said i'm not gonna assume my roommate's um preferences because that's shitty and i wouldn't do that however comma my roommate has offered to um you know help me with things because to my roommate, I am a poor damsel distressed woman that has never jacked off in my life. <laughs> so my roommates offered to help me. This is so bad. This is so bad. I literally have that clip and really shy. Oh my God, oh my God. Uh, how did Rumi compare to Millie? It was pretty gooey. I'm not gonna lie. See, this is what I hate about dreams. Sometimes they feel so real. I swear in the dream, I felt everything. I felt her tits, her ass, her stomach, her lips, her saliva, her tongue. And I, I, oh my God, I hate myself. I hope she, I hope she doesn't hear me. I really hope she doesn't hear me. I really hope she doesn't hear me. I, I would not want, I would, if my roommate knew that I freaking had this dream, it would be fucking over. <laughs> I'm so jealous, I'm not. I am not. Who started it though? I don't know, big old cucumber. In the dream, it was kind of like we kind of just both went into this freaking fake Christmas Hallmark house that literally looked like those little miniature houses. And we just kind of went on the floor and that's kind of how it happened. Thank you, a big old cucumber for Zupa. Mythic, you know what to do. I swear to God, Scarlet Shoes, I swear to fucking God, no. Thank you for Zupa. Selfies, we can test if your dreams are the future. If this happens this Christmas, then the little girl behind the clock was real. Well, shut up, Selfies. Oh my God. Thank you for the Zupa. Oh my God. It's okay. I've had gay dreams about my male friends too. See?
I hate that this happens to me. Oh my god. I had a dream about another girl before and I, I'm not saying it. This one, I'm taking it to the fucking grave. Oh, hell no, because you guys probably know this person. So that's why I'm never saying this one, ever. I remember, okay, there's this one dream I had. Okay, okay, Chad, hold on. Oh my God. I'm praying for more Rumi X Scarlet R. Please let them, let it this boom. Oh, merciful heavens, please. Paul Bunyan, no. Thank you for super. Oh my God, you chat with all the supers. Oh my God. Why are you telling us? Because I told Chad everything and I'm an idiot. Okay, one time I was on like a bullet train <laughs> okay once upon a time i was on a bullet train i don't even know where i was going and i was next to this girl who i will not name i will never name her because you guys probably know who the fuck this is so um it was i was just next to her and i remember just being very very nervous and i didn't know how to act and then like she was like touching my leg with her nail like, if this is my knee, if this was my knee, she was like going like this to my knee and like touching my hands. And I was really, really embarrassed. I was like, bro, what the fuck you doing, man? And like, it's, I will admit it is a girl I like admire, like probably one of my, one of like, you know, people I really look up to, you know? And I remember like, I just kissed her and, and then ran away. I remember we were getting off the train and I got up, kissed her. Oh, y'all think she's a Niji? <laughs> no, she's not a Niji. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's gonna fucking lay it down. I'm never saying who this is. I would rather die on this hill. <laughs> I would rather die. <laughs> I would rather fucking die. Oh, hell no. Either way, we got up from the train. I kissed her and then I just ran like the freaking freaking like I was in the freaking Olympics like I just dipped and then she just stood there and I just kept running and then that was it I'm um, like I said who it is and it's not in Niji and but I will never tell you who it is I will tell you for your amusement but I am not going any more than that oh and now you stole a kiss listen do not assume dom no thank you for the super but no and i will never say i will never no 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 i will die on this hill absolutely not absolutely not mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. thanks for sharing scarlet on the plus side at least mom goody's not watching the stream right i hope not mom if you're here can you text me thank you pick your dead for super you need to tell her about your feelings quickly no <laughs> I would rather die on this hill. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Thank you, Kuyasana for Supa. I've had multiple dreams about plane. Oh, really? Oh, shit. I've never been on a plane, but I'm watching the disaster open my eyes on the ground. Tornadoes also show frequently. Oh, please. See, Tibbets? No, I feel you, Tibbets. Thank you for the Supa. Like, I don't know where. I've never had this, but I've been getting so much like plane fear lately like i used to love planes when i was a kid but it wasn't until i was on well i, I went to japan this last time that i was actually like really scared like i was like El padre del hijo Espíritu Santo. like i was like so scared for i've never been scared of planes but thank you tibbets for the soup but thank you nice double nice paul bunyan shut the fuck up thank you for the soup thanks for corrupting kb for me i didn't mean to paul bunyan <laughs> thank you for the soup louis pj are you going to the wedding i'm still going to the wedding shut up louis pj thank you for the soup no oh my god so rumi offered to um, New York, shut the fuck up. Thank, it was were during my her and her fiance is breaking up, and I did not, I did not um, entertain the situation because I do not, I don't do that. Thank you, New York for Supa. Between Millie and Rumi and this third dream, I see a pattern here. Good luck figuring your preferences. Guto, shut the fuck up. Thank you for the Supa. See, I'm not gonna lie, like. I don't know, man. Even I've had these, like, I've wondered, like, are these dreams just like my subconscious telling me, like, it's about time you got laid? Like, I don't know. I am not a homewrecker. I will never be a homewrecker. That is why I'm like, I know my roommate just got out of a breakup. Like, I ain't gonna catch these hands, bro. I don't need her fiance coming to my house wanting to whip my ass. No, thank you. You are attending the wedding to object. No, no. I am not attending this wedding to object. Just <laughs> this is why I didn't want to tell you. This is why, Chad, I didn't want to tell you this fucking dream. Oh my god, go tell her about your feelings. No, chat, stop.
stop. I am, you're gonna object. I am not. I am not. The damsel in distress, huh? My kind of girl, shut up, War Star Warriors. Thank you for the super. Hmm. You guys are ridiculous. Dom, I swear to fucking God, I will hurt you. Thank you, Dom, for the Stupa. I didn't know you were, you, what, stop it. Why are you guys assuming people? Thank you, Louise B. Day, for the Stupa. I told you guys, don't assume shit. Salty Falter, a names guard. We want their name. You're not gonna fucking get it. Thank you, Salty Falter, for the Stupa. Can we get a hit? No, Phantom. No, you will not. Thank you for the Stupa. She said she's in Niji. Oh my God, Tharja, shut the fuck up. They were never in Niji. Better? Thank you, Tharja, for the Stupa. They were never in Niji. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Sorry, KB. Corruption was destined from the start, especially if they watch in my stream, Paul Bunyan. Especially. No screams, chat, chill, drink water. I have water. Don't worry, I'm maintaining. Thank you, Aaron Scarling, for the super. I have always known I was bi, but honestly, I think I might be for real gay. Been figuring out recently. See, like. You know, I don't know, man. I don't know. A part of me is like... My roommate is literally getting married, chat. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god. I, I cannot handle it. I cannot handle it, bro. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Do, do not. Do not speculate, chat. I swear to god. Oh my god. Tell her she stop. No, no, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Man, those are some wild dreams. No, I know. Like, see, like, sometimes I do. Did I? I mean, did you like kissing? I mean, kissing Millie wasn't horrible. <laughs> I mean, it was a very cute, quick, mwah. like, it was a very delicate kiss. Why are we chat? Chat, why are we talking about this? Why are we talking about my kiss with Millie? Oh, so shut up, Louise V Day. No, stop assuming people. Thank you for the super. Hi, big boy Doge. Hey, it was popping Kamiyoshi. I also just downloaded Armor Core 6. Oh. Zal Fuse threw $5 at Skarl's booba. The dream is a sign you didn't need to spend all that time setting up for stream, instead of getting love nectar by yourself for the candied apples, Rumi could have helped you out. Don't worry we understand the thumbnail's implications. We got your back. <laughs> Zalfius! Zalfius, I am so honored you have my back during these de freaking desperate times. <laughs> Thank you, Zalvis, for the don. Oh my fucking god. Jesus criminy. Big boy doge. I, oh, you download Armor Core 6? I still need to beat that fucking helicopter, bro. Also, how was your day? Love you, love you, big boy doge. Mwah. Chat is just freaking getting at me because I told them about a dream I had a while ago, and it was literally me making out with my roommate in a fake um Hallmark Christmas house. And um now they won't let me live it down. Thank you, big boy doge, for the soup. I hope you're doing well, darling. Thank you, thank you. Mwah. Hi, Cohen Vale. That's enough out of you, bro. I just joined and I'm hearing Scarlet's in season. Stop! No, 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 no. No, there is no heat here. No, there is no heat. Cohen Vale. No. Do you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear it? No, my grandfather clock just went off. It's not even at 12. It's not even at the hour mark. Why did it go off? Hold on. I'm paranoid. I'm going to get up. Hold on. Just give me a second. No, it's 945. I am me. So, bro, I'm so scared to even say her name. I'm so scared. I'll be right back. Let me just. So, Grandma Clock's right here. Looks normal to me. No little girl behind it. Okay, just quick recap. For those who are late, I was telling chat earlier how I had a really, really weird dream about a little girl um, living behind my grandfather clock for over a year, and her name was Aimi, like A-I-M-I. -I. And yeah, it was, now my grandfather clock just went off, and it's not even like the hour point yet, so I don't even know why it went off. So now I'm kind of just like, what the fuck is going on in my house? Um, yeah. 
but hi Cohen Vale. Pretty sure that's natural since she works with fire and we light the flame under her spoiled booty. Do not light my flame under my booty, Cohen Vale. Oh my fucking god. You are insane, Cohen Vale. Thank you so much for the big big super Cohen Vale. You spoil me so much, baby. Thank you, Cohen Vale. Thank you, thank you. Mwah, mwah. I just hope my roommate di didn't hear me talk about this. I would rather die. Get it out of your system and French kiss Ruby Chan. She's getting married in a couple months, Nior. No, thank you for Supa. Thank you. Why is my tracking being weird? Hold on, I'm gonna glitch for a second. Is that better? I think so. Bless stream 07. Shut up, Paul Bunny. Shut the fuck up. Thank you for the Supa. You guys, thank you for the big orange Supa, Paul Bunny. You're full of it. I can't stand any of you. Oh, is she having her tongue in her roomies throat? Stop! <laughs> you guys! No, we haven't started, Gab. We haven't started yet, Gab. I'm just telling chat of my weird dreams first. Oh my god. Thank you, Kuyasada, for Supa. Sorry, I didn't mean it to sound bad before. Wait, what? I don't even remember. Oh, you're fine, baby Star Warrior Robbie. I know we just fucking around. Please don't worry. You're good, baby. Please. Thank you, Star Warrior Robbie. Thank you for the soup, but please know. I, I know we all just being funny fucking around here, okay? So please don't worry. Thank you, Star Warrior Robbie. Thank you, darling. Did she have a bachelorette party yet? I don't think so. Did she? I don't think so. Her wedding isn't until like summer. Oh, shit, wait. Her wedding's actually in a couple months. Um, I think the, it's usually like right before the wedding they have it, right? <clears throat> oh no, Aaron, stop. No, I left the tax lady a message. I hope she gets back to me. Is it a dream girl? It's the same as the girl you met and you wanted to meet in JP? No, it was a different girl. Thank you, Ariel Christopher. Look, the shut up from times. By the way, love you and use your 3.0. Thank you. I love my 3.0 too. When y'all aren't being little shits. I can't stand you guys. Jesus fucking Christ. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Reptimes for Supa. Plot twist, Rumi is a Scarlet. I don't think she would be Tharja. Thank you for Supa. I hope she wouldn't even know who I am. Oh my God. Maybe something is inside the clock, maybe haunted. I don't know. Rain Scarling, and I don't want to know. Thank you for Supa. Asking for a friend, have you had any other dreams where you made out with Rumi? No, the original guff. That was only one. Thank you, darling. Thank you for Supa. Mwah. Scarlett having too many tasty dreams. Not enough time for taxes. Stop. <laughs> My God. Oh, Jesus. What's this about Rumi? Muffin got me curious. Avalanche, do you do you really not know? Did you not? Did you come late? Did you hear it? Cause I don't want to say it again. Ugh. Okay, fine. I told Chad how a while ago I had a dream of me and my roommate making out in a fake Christmas Hallmark house. There, are you happy? Thank you, Avalanche, for the soup. This dream is the paradise of all fan fiction. I hate it. You know what? I'm gonna piss you off right now. Hold on, chat though. I'm gonna piss you off. I'm gonna piss you off Chatsaw. Give me one moment. I'm gonna piss you all off right now. I am tired of being ridiculed. I am tired of being the butt of the joke. Let me get my lactose milk because I have lactose milk because oh fuck me because my booty hole because my booty hole would not like it. Even better. <laughs> Shut up. Hi Alvin Remelby. Thank you for super darling. Is there a mistletoe? No. No, Scott Graham. No, there's not. Thank you for Supa. There. I got my milk. Yay! Ugh. Ugh. It was just a spicy dream of making out with Ruby John. Totally normal. Exactly. Thank you, Coach Phil. Thank you. My dreams are mostly scary and tragic, sometimes related to my past experiences, family drama, school drama. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry Star Warrior Robbie. See, so I do appreciate the slutty dreams because same, usually a lot of mine are like terror. Like I get a lot of night terrors. So I'm very honored that, you know, sometimes I will be blessed with a not scary, but a horny dream. You know, sometimes, see, ready for me to piss you off, chat. This is what you get. This is what you get, Chatta. This is what you get for being a shit to me. Ah! Mmm! 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 Ah! Ah! Ow! Also, 
you sure you're still here? I need to talk to you. You're in trouble. I mean, you're not. Like, keep doing great. <laughs> but like, fuck you. <laughs> Where is Sherry? Is Sherry still here? Ah. Where is Sherry? Send me an email. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I'll say it really quick. So, you know, I got an interesting message from somebody in the DMs. And I was like, oh, what a love, what a nice message from my coworker. What a nice message from my fellow EN coworker. Mm. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, Chloe, too. Thank you for your super baby. Mm. Scarlet drinking that milk, hoping in time in the toilet will help forget about Rumi. Ex Scarlet ships now cannonball bunnies the fuck up. Thank you for your super. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. Are you mad at how I'm eating my donut? I'm sorry. Are you mad? Do you not like it? Keep distracting her. No, you'll be happy, Sherry. I think. So, okay, let me just say really quick. Okay. So, I got a message from my lovely, lovely Kohai. And they're like, nice work. Wait, let me see. How did this convo even start? Let me, like, just go back in the DMs real quick. So, what did, the, what did it even start this? Let me see. What? Muffin threw five dollars at Skarl's booba. I don't know about you, but I don't dream about my roomies while she has a man. Skarl darling, I think you are either oppressed or you've been stuck in the closet for too long, Luma. First of all, Muffin, it was when she didn't have a boyfriend, okay? Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Let me see when did this happen. Okay, I got a lovely message from my Kohai. And it was like, hey, Scar, I'm like, hi, what's up? It was very nice. They're like, just checking on you, you know, just vibing. I hope you're doing good. I'm like, oh my God, I hope you're doing good too. And I'm like, I hope you're doing well. And they're like, it's okay. Shuri CH helps me through those hard times, though. And I was like, what? And I was like, say that, what? How do you know that name? How do you know that name? Why do you know that? I was like literally send them like a like a freaking like a freaking email like how do you know that name you fucker? And they're like it's kind of hard when your clips are always on my feed. I'm like why are my clips in your feed? They're like well it started with this one. And then they linked me to the Shuri clip. Oh perfect. It's this one. Scarlet barges in her roommate having sex. Oh what perfect topic of conversation. I love that it's still on topic. So what we're talking about. And I was like, get this out of my fucking face. Why? How? And then they said and then they just kept coming and wouldn't stop. Love your content. Keep it up. And I'm like, if I ever see you, I am banning your ass. And they're like, have a good day too, senpai. I will not say who it is. Sherry, I hate you. I hate you. Oh my God. So um, a Kohai reached out to me being like, Shuri's, Shuri's clips keeps me awake during times of struggle. Mm. I'm not going to say who it is. I will never out them. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Why am I angry? Because I was just humiliated. That's why. Thanks, Shuri. Thanks, bro. I love it. Mm. I was at a bakery at a donut shop for several years and never seen someone eat a donut in this way. Such evil. You don't like that I like to eat the bread out of donuts first? Oh my God. Paul Bunny, what the fuck? Stop. <laughs> This Zoom is for Sherry. Well done. I hate everything. I hate everything completely. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Also, they said that they hope you don't get any more like strikes on YouTube, bro. They hope your channel stays class. They hope your channel stays up because they need something. <laughs> oh my God. Paul Bunyan, I swear to God. <laughs> thank you, Paul Bunyan. Thank you for the big big Zumba. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But yeah, um, that was great. I love getting humiliated by my fellow um, co workers when they DM me that they've seen an obscene clip of mine. Mm hmm. Love it for me. Mr. Harry Garisha, what? Mr. Harry Garisha, thank you for. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for another five gifted memories, bro. 
If you gotta get the memory from Mr. Hergerys to make sure you thank him. Thank you, Mr. Hergerys, for letting you love. I will, Pinkerton. I'll try not to scream much. Um, hum. Dunk the entire one? No, Nior. I like to eat the bread first. Thank you, Nior, for Zupa. Just happy you're using gloves instead of a sock. I know, right? Thank you, Rip Times for Zupa. Can I get a horny dream instead? I don't mind gloopy kids. Ew, Pinkerton. Ew. <laughs> Thank you for Zupa. Though you were gonna grow throat thin, Claire. Louis PJ, my throat's small. Thank you for Zupa. Oh my god. Uh mm, mm, mm. Help me, I wanna die. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <For me. laughs> she was uh, my roommate just popped in for a second. She was like, what? I heard you say roomie. Are you talking about me? I'm like, no. I was talking to my mom earlier and, and I was telling her that um that you, you know that you're getting married in a couple months. She's like, aw, I'll tell your mom I hope she goes to my wedding. <laughs> Shut up, Zoffies, no. And then she was like, oh, you got donuts. I'm like, yeah, do you want one? And then she was like, no, do you have like the pink ones? I'm like, no, I don't. And then she literally said, what did you do with your other donut? And I said, I just kind of like eating the bread first. And then she's like, you're fucking weird. I'm like, sorry, yeah, my bad. And she's like, well, I'm going to bed then. I'm like, okay, bye. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. She's right. Shut up. Now's your chance to admit your feelings. Louis BJ, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Team made that clip is really funny. Nice job. Sherry Gutho, I swear to God. Thank you for soon, pop. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Gutho. Need you night. Boob, good night. Thank you. Sorry, I thought I heard a noise. Bro. Do you hear the grandfather clock? It's going off again. Do you not hear it? It's going off again. Why is it going off? Well, see, now it's actually 10, but it went off like, what, 10 minutes ago? 10, 15 minutes ago? Mm-mm. Thank you, Niji Night for Zulfa. Wow, wow, good night, though, wow, wow. Watching you talking with Rumi with three, with three point out was funny. Listen, I couldn't, like, what I have to do when I see my roommate, I quickly close out of, like, the Niji, like, I'll close the phone so then she doesn't see it. And then I'll just, like, hide, like, the screen where I'm at. And then she's like, oh, okay. So she knows I'm, like, making my little TikToks. See, chat? Does this piss you off? Does this piss you off, chat, though? Mmm. Mmm. No. Mmm. Not really, really. She gonna find out sometimes what? What? Mmm. My donut. Mmm. Really? 
I thought you guys didn't like of how I ate the donut. Um, yum, yum. We have accepted your weirdness. I'm glad. Um, not really. I usually don't the same way. Really? Thank you, Paul Bunny, for super. The milk's gonna mess you up? No, it's organic, lactose free. So it's not gonna fuck my stomach. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm just disappointed, but that's normal now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maka Maka. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Razupa. Mm, ew. She totally hurt you, by the way. No, she didn't. I'm pretty sure she just like muffled. I'm sure she just heard like me muffly saying Rumi Chan and like didn't, or Rumi. And like didn't know what I was talking about. Mmm. 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 Is it a different normal milk? No, it tastes exactly the same. Like it's no different to me. Ah. Uh. Mmm. 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 She was in the corridor? No. Because I heard the door open. They're not the worst food crime I've seen from you. What is the worst food crime you've seen of me, Avalanche? Thank you for Zupa. Costco, go, 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 go. I cannot read today. Costco lactose free milk is Gaza. It is. It is, Ram. Ah, uh, ooh. Your pizza? How dare you? Mmm. How dare you, chat though? Oh, there's a chocolate in the milky. Come here. It's stuck. How dare you, chat though? My pizza got me noticed on fucked up foods on Reddit. How dare you? Uh, mm, 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 Mmm, mm, mm. The fuck you mean, how dare you? Exactly. Y'all should be loving my pizza. Hello? Mmm. It doesn't help you, Scarl? Yes, it does. It means I am now an icon. I am now internet famous. I'm kidding. Mmm. <laughs> Girl, stop coping. <laughs> mm, have you ever had pan dulce? Yes, I love pan dulce. I'm trying to decide like if we should do a stream for Cinco de Mayo. Mm -mm -mm. I think maybe so maybe I could make some yummy food or something. I think that'd be fun. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> yes. Sarge IBW threw five dollars at Skull's booba. I bet this absolute gooning gooba probably butters bread with a spoon and eats cereal with a knife. If she were any more blasphemous, the UN would sue for crimes against humanity. How dare you, bro? How dare you? Thank you, Tharja, for the dawn. Oh, what the fuck, man? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, my goodness gracious. How dare all of you? I wouldn't eat the cursed pizza even if you fed it to me directly. Wait, why, Paul Bunyan? Why? I think it was great. I think it was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Why, 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 why? I think it'd be great. Add to the long list of things. Yeah. I have to go. That's okay, Carl's World. Thank you for coming, darling. Up to see you next time, love. And a front to your taste buds. What is wrong with my taste buds, bro? I have to burp. Hey. 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 Scarlett, I love you and all, but I would not, I would never eat 95% of your food. Why? You guys are horrible. How rude. Okay. I think it is time. Okay, Chata. First order of business. I need to Google how to make these. I think that's step one. Or does anyone know how to do it? I don't know how. <laughs> I probably should have looked it up first, maybe. But um, um, I'll just Google it. Scarlet, what? Oh, goodbye, Erin. Have a good day, baby. 
Wait, you're just starting? Yes, we always talk for like at least an hour before I start like the real stream. It's tradition, cause Scarl doesn't know how to fucking stop talking. Let me see, let me see. What do you mean you don't know how to make the thing? I don't know. Candy recipe for tantulu. It's candied fruit. Let me see. So it's okay. So let me see. Yeah, melted sugar. Okay, so I do have sugar. I have the bamboo skews. It, I don't even. I don't even know why I was surprised she doesn't have a plan. <laughs> Not being prepared is a scarlet tradition. I am prepared sometimes. I would smash everything you made except pizza. How dare you? I mean, I can't. I'm happy you would do some. Thank you, Reptime Zuzupa. Okay. I think I get the vibe. Okay, Chato, I have a list of directions. We're ready to go. Also, Chato, my feet are cold. Ugh. It's pretty easy to make in terms of ingredients, but be careful not to burn the sugar when you melt it. Yes, BB. I've made like a vampire thing before, once upon a time. Okay, are we ready, Chato? Are we ready to make candy? It looks like I'm laying down. Hello? I'm gonna have to fix it. Hold on, I'm gonna glitch again. Hi. It looks like I'm looking down. Hold on. Hi. How do you pour, how do you pour your cereal? What do you mean, how do I pour my cereal? Like a normal person? Pour it? Like, out of the box? Is there a specific way to pour cereal? Thank you, Louis VJ, for soup. But I mean, we're not gonna make that many. It's just gonna be for me. Goober not having a recipe on hand is nothing new. Be happy, Pizza, and we can work on it together. Thank you, Evelyn, for soup. Thank you. I'm gonna put on my I'm gonna put on my booties because I'm cold. My little uggy shoes. I believe in you, Scarl. Despite not being prepared, this will be no scuff, no burnt Paul sugar, no mess. Paul underscore Bunyan threw five dollars at Scarl's booba. Good day, Rumi Chan. It's nice to see you. you. I am happy. Someone has faith in me. I am happy. Wait. 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 Did it read it? Or did you say a bad word? Oh my god. Wait, did I talk over it? Holy shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fuck you, Paul Bunny. How dare you? Thank you for the soup. How dare you? Sorry, I was putting on my shoes. I'm sorry. Ugh. Hold on. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. <sighs> Yep, I'm sorry. I'll read it for you. Rumi Chan, wait, let me let me see. What does it say? Good day, Rumi Chan. It's nice to see you. How dare you? How fucking dare you, Paul Bunyan? Why would you disrespect me like that? Why would you disrespect me? You just disrespect? Why is it? Huh? Okay. We got, let me just, um. Of course my way of cleaning is just shoving everything on the ground. Put that finger away. I'm gonna stick this up your bum, Christy, and it's not gonna feel pleasant. I'm gonna stick it up your bum. It's not gonna feel good. Okay. Excuse this ball. Ex what? Sal Fuse threw five dollars at Skarl's booba. Skarl, you need to quit being a dense protagonist. She has given you all the signs. I can't believe you missed your chance, but Rumi is kind enough to give you one last chance to go to the wedding and object. Come on, live your Hispanic drama life. Oh my god. Sal Fuse, no! That is not how it be in these streets, bro. No! Thank you, Zalfies, for the soup. Uh, need our tela novela? Okay, well, I'm not gonna be rolling in it. I will not be taking apart. 
Thank you, Zalfies, for the super. No. Listen, I'm fine with not dating. I mean, I've had this conversation with my roommate, too. Um, she's like, is there, like, a reason you don't date? Like, do you just, like, do you not like boys? Do you not like girls? Like, are you just not romantic? I'm like, I don't fucking know, man. Cooked by Mama Goonie, then Rumi Chan back in my shot. <laughs> ah, rough times. Oh, my God. Thank you for super, bro. Chat, should we drink? I'm in a drinking mood, even though I never drink. It's 2 a.m. I'm feeling eepy. Good luck with the berries. Don't let the sh sugar drop on your gloves. Ooh, that would be bad. I gotta be really careful. I might wear oven mitts just in case. Hope you're feeling a little better. Bye, 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 Guto. Thank you for coming. Bye, honey. Goodbye. Okay, let me see. Okay. One cup of sugar. Okay. So it's one cup of sugar, one quarter cup of water. Corn syrup, fucking balls. Bro, I am still freaking traumatized by corn syrup. Do I even have corn syrup? Chat, I don't even know if I have corn syrup. This might be a problem. Uh, let me see, without corn syrup. Okay, hold on, let me find another recipe. Bro, the corn syrup is what fucked my Elgato to get stuck to the table. Okay, I think I found it. Let me see. Why traumatize my corn syrup? Because it got on my bookshelf and now it's just like stuck everywhere. Let me see. Okay, so we have to clean the fruit. Yes. Then we heat the sugar with water? Grams? I don't know what this... What's 400 grams? What the fuck is that? Wait, you, she didn't buy the ingredients? I did, but I don't have... There's like recipes with corn syrup and without corn syrup. Let me see. Like grams for what? Because it said grams. Listen, I'm American. I'm a useless American. Okay, two cups of sugar, one cup of water. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, it's one to one ratio. So, hmm. So it's one cup of sugar and then a half cup of water. Okay, 400 is 14. Okay. Okay, so, Chad, I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. Oh my God. He's not wrong, but he's not right. Shut up, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron, for the super. Board Panda, thank you for super 14 months. Thank you, Board Panda. If you're not going to object at the wedding, can I? No, you can't, Scott Graham. We're, you're not invited. Are you going to LA? Uh, why are you asking me if I'm going to LA? You asked me the other day. Why? why? Is there something fun over there? I don't know. Uh, before we start, do you know what you're doing? No, but that's okay. Thank you, Gabby Super. thank you. It's okay. Okay, Chato, now we're gonna flip the camera and that's not the camera. We're gonna flip the camera to where it's like I'm facing my stove and we're gonna hope this goes right and that I don't burn my kitchen. Okay, ER standing by, ta-da! Oh shit, let me like fix it. Mm. Ay. Okay, fix the lights up a little bit. There you go. Bro, this setup is so bad. Oh my God, hold on. My head, my headphone cord is like, oh my God. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. I mean, don't you just basically boil sugar water mixer? Yes, Wolf Moon Soul. But my chat does not trust anything I do. Like anything. My chat is like, Scarl, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, nothing. My chat does not trust anything I do. They do not, at all. Let me like zoom in a little bit. That's right, damn it. See, they never trust anything. Okay, I'm scared. Well, wish your kitchen luck, hope it survives, thanks. What? Lior threw $5 at Skarl's booba. Amy, if you're there, move something in the kitchen or chime the clock again. Oh my god, Nyor, stop it. You guys, you guys are fucking horrible. Thank you, Nyor, for the donut. I'll hold after glitch again. Hi. 
See, it's kind of weird when I go back. I don't know. The thank you, Gav, for the soup five. Your kitchen survives. It will, bro. Thank you, Gav. Everything will be fine. No fires, no scuff. The coping has not increased at all. Don't worry. Thank you, Paul Bunyan. I'm glad. Thank you, darling. She's making simple syrup, so it should be simple, right? Exactly, Katal. Thank you for super six months. Yeah, it, it should be fine. It should be pretty self-explanatory, I think. So we will, we will try our fucking best, bro. We will try our literal best. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna do this. Okay, so I probably should have washed the strawberry first. Um, one second. Luckily, there's a thing right here, so I can just wash them really quick. They should be fine. Right, Chato? Let me see. Give me one second. I am getting the strawberries. I'm getting the berry of straw. Hello, Chata. I give also kitchen professionals, correct me if I'm wrong, but syrup is equal part water and sugar, right? Wait, is it? Because the recipe I looked at, it was like two cups of sugar, one cup of water. So I was like, huh, I don't know. Well, I'm going to, we'll only do like a couple. One. Wait, so is the ratio one to one? Because the recipe I saw online, it was like, it can be a higher ratio. I wonder what does it affect? Do you think it affects the final product of everything? See, it looks like I'm laying down, but I'm literally just, you know, trying to wash some goodies. She just needs to cook it up before it starts browning. Or you mean like turn it off, I think. Bro, I'm so scared to fuck this up. Okay, let me like, let me rinse off the strawberries really quick. Chato, I'm scared. What if I fuck it up? Okay. They're washing. Chat, can I wash your berries? I'll be gentle, I promise. Chato, can I wash your berries? Gav, it is here. So, wait, so is it? Because the recipe, well, I guess it could be. Okay. <laughs> okay. Two parts sugar, one part water should be fine. Okay, so. What if I just hold my phone with me? What if I just hold it? And pretend I'm like a vlogger. Well, now it looks like I'm down. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy again. Okay, now I'm gonna hold it like I'm a YouTube vlogger. Hi guys, welcome to. I'm literally holding it in my hand, so it doesn't look wonky. Okay, so here's the sugar. I am terrified. Oh, that is some expose. Hold on. Oh, okay, I'll have to fix the exposure. You'll be fine, I believe in you. Also feel free to wash our berries. Thank you, I'm glad I have your consent to wash the berries. I'm glad, okay. Much better, much better. Okay, let me see, let me see. I think that's good. Hi Tibbets, hi baby. Oh, it looks so, hold on, I gotta make the focus. Sur survived another shift? Yay, I'm glad. Go, go, baby. Go, go. Let me see. Mm, work has been hard the last couple of weeks. Oh, really? I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry, honey. You have no idea what a simple comment you left on my art this morning means to me? Aw, Tibbets, of course. I love seeing your little art updates. They make my day. I love them so much. And I always appreciate and look forward to them. Thank you, Tibbets. I really appreciate them. I really do. Aw. I want to do... No, Tibbets, you're fine. I swear, Tibbets, please don't worry. I promise you from the bottom of my heart, you are okay, darling. Everything is good. No harm, no foul. You are good, my darling, okay? Thank you, Tibbets. Thank you so much for the art as always. And thank you for the big orange sofa. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. You know what I need? I need those like phone holders that holds my phone in front of my face. Is that a little weird? I might invest in those because I do hand cams all the time. I kind of want to invest in one of those. It's do they have those? Like those, like you put a thing like a, you need as an adult? No, I am an adult. Like a selfie stick? It's like a, like, I don't know, like do they have these? Do these exist? It's like, the thing where like a like a tripod that holds my phone in front of me like 
like a GoPro, you know? Or maybe like those helmet cams where I can hold my phone in front of my face. So then, cause I do a lot of hand cams. A phone stand? Well, no, so like if I'm moving and walking around my room or just walking cause you know, I still try to read the chat, but you know, I, my phone is like, st my phone is stagnant in one place. But then as like, if I move to the side to do something, it doesn't track my face properly. Like something you could pin, yeah, something I could pin to even like have around my shoulders or something. Like some sort of tr like tripod to hold my phone like in front of my face. So then I can like, you know, do stuff and I'll still track it. There's a whole nother wraps around your neck, your phone. I need that! Wait, Mama Angel, okay, cat, I, I almost called you cake. I need that, wait. Hi, good night, Goober, save me some strawberries, please. Of course, Nior, I'll probably post them on Twitter later. I think I angered something after. Wait, what? Wait, what? I think you, wait, did he, wait, do you think you got the spirit, Nior? <laughs> no, no, Nior. <laughs> I think it's fine. I don't think Amy wants to hurt us. I think everything is fine. I think the grandfather clock just being a little silly. So don't worry, Nior. There will be no ghosties in this house, I think. I think. I hope. But thank you, Nior. Have a good night, darling. I'll go see you next time, Nior. Have a good night, baby. Good night. Mwah, mwah. Hi, X. Hi, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, 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 too. Hi, darling. The end of the line for me, guys. What do you mean? Uh, it was a fun, in fact, it was a blast. Thanks for the good times on a mission to make my family rich. You know what, Oko 2? You go, baby. You do that. I believe in you, darling. Make all your dreams and aspirations come true, Oko 2. Thank you, darling. I wish you the bestest. You go up there. You make your family rich. Yes! Go, go, go! I believe in you. Huh, testing? Wait, what? Testing. What happened, big boy Doge? You think you got like shadow banned? What happened? Mm hmm. Okay, so I think I am gonna put um the water in there. Wait, should I do the strawberries on it first? My comment didn't go through. Oh, that's weird. I'm sorry. I'm not sure why. I'm over here. I'm over here not doing nothing. Let me see. Hello. Let me see. Yeah, there's a camera, phone. See, because it looks like I'm laying down, but when I hold my phone up to my face, it's like, hi. Hmm, see, now it looks like I'm just lounging. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let me see. Okay, reverse this first. First, we're gonna cut. Why is it like that? Hmm, oh shit, is my light not working? Oh, there you go. There. Okay, so first I'm gonna cut the strawberries really quick. It might have lagged out. Mm. Well, that's okay, I see you. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the strawberries really quick with my favorite big boy. <laughs> uh, where's the strawberries I just washed? Here they are. Okay, so I'm gonna test it. I'm so scared, bro. I'm so scared to fuck this up. Oh, uh, let me see. I'll use a different one, like, just in case. <laughs> let me see. I didn't know it was so reflective from that angle. Just in case, I'll use a different one. Ew, the strawberries look gross. Much better. Okay. Let's see, let's go. And then, and then, okay. And then I think you just line them on here, like on the sticky, I think. Let me see, what do the Instagram gurus do? Wait, hold on. What do the Instagram baddies do? Wait, 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 I don't know. Yeah, rip your freaking berries. Hold on, let me see. What do the baddies do? Oh, some just do one. Some do three. Nice chops, thanks. Why are you using a big knife? Why not, Teresa? I wanna be bad. Okay, let me see. I think that's good. Okay, let's do this one next. And, oh shit, that might've been too much. That's okay. Okay, ta-da. Is this what the booty gurus do? I think. 
Okay, so far so good. So we'll just start off with this one. We'll just start off with that one. Hi, Midwest Avenger. Hi, baby. How's Scarlet House, my favorite southern wine mom? Oh, darling, I'm doing fine over here, honey. I'm just making some candied strawberries for you, darling. Hello, Midwest Avenger. Thank you, Rizzi, for five months. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. We're making the berry of straw. So now I'm going to put water in it. And shout, I'm scared. Mange. Okay. I'm gonna put water. That was not me, Chaka. That was, that was not me. That was the thing. It wasn't me. Okay, now I'm gonna like stir it. And then I'll have it on really low. Okay, it's gonna be like so low. It's gonna be so low. Okay. Oh my god. Sure? Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, no. Okay. It looks like I'm leaning back. Okay. So I'm just going to try and like mix. Better have ice cold water when you're ready. For what? For what, honey? Yeah, hello, Chapel. Did you guys do anything else today? I just, you know, said hi to my mom, did some errands, backdraft, what? She whisking, I am, I'm whisking. Just so it helps, I guess that's what you do, right? I think. Okay, sick. All I do is work, I'm going to WeaveCon. Oh, you're going to WeaveCon? Oh shit, I hope you have a good time. I hope you have fun. Oh my God. Ice bath for melted sugar later? Really? I've never heard of that. I never heard of using it. Let me see. I need to see. So what is it supposed to look like when it's ready? I was just editing videos and stuff. Oh my God, look at Katsuwan go. So much smarticles in this house. Okay, and now excuse me as I quickly watch a YouTube tutorial on how to do, oh, of course it's not fucking loading. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Ah, oh, let me see. Let me mix it again really quick. Okay. This is really winging it for us. It's winging it, winging it from me. I'm literally just, we'll just stir it and see what happens. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. I join stream and see a pool of devil juice. What? It's sugar, bro. What? What's devil juice? What is that? I know other things they call, you know, the... That liquid looks sus. What do you mean it looks sus, G Burial? What does it look like to you? Devil juice crazy? What is it? Wait, what's devil juice? Wait, is that a thing? It's all natural? Wait, is devil juice a thing? The forbidden milk? What? Am I not in, am I not in understanding something? Let me see. I have the, the heat on low. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh. Oh. I see. I see the direction you guys are going. Y'all nasty. Y'all are nasty and disgusting. How dare you? Chata. Oh, ghost girl. No, I didn't know, Jose. Legit. Their minds are in the gutter after all. I know, their minds are always in the gutter. For real, for real. Yay, I don't think you're supposed to stir this. Wait. Wait, no, right? I have to, just not when it starts bubbling. Right? You stir it at first, right? Because, and then when it starts bubbling, then you stop stirring it, right? Yeah, because the sugar can't just sit there. It needs to dissolve first, right? Damn it, I should have watched the tutorial. Hold on, let me watch this tutorial. 
You don't need to stir it like at all. Like at all, at all. Like not even just mixing the water. Generally, yes, usually mix and keep it over heat. I'm gonna watch a video really quick. Okay. Well, then we're just gonna have to see what happens. Mm, what was that? Then we're just gonna see what happens, Chato. Then we're just gonna have to see. It needs to be 300 degrees and turn amber brown on medium heat. What do we do with it after the fact? Bro, I should have watched a YouTube video before this. Oh shit. So where do we like put it after? Or no, we do keep it in the pot. You just delicately turn it. Okay, so did you read the recipe? I am now. Okay, so we let it boil and we leave it until it turns like a light brown and then we could like quirl it and shit. Oh shit. Don't listen to chat, read the recipe. Well, I'm watching a quick video. Yeah, I okay. We will leave it. Bro, I hope I didn't fuck it up already. Thank God I only did one cup of sugar. Thank God I only did one cup. The only thing you need to remember is to immediately cut off the heat once the sugar starts changing color. Prep all your strawberries beforehand. I got you, Clarice Neokun. I got you. Thank you for the soup. I got it. Thank you. Read the recipe should take precautions. Okay, so I'm just watching this one video that like how to make it without cornstarch. I'll link it. Yeah, let me see. It's this one. Let me see. It is this one. Basically, they just, I hope I didn't fuck it, dude. I hope I didn't fuck it. Are you a good cook, Carl? Yes, I am. I am actually one of the best cooks of Niji Sanji. I am one of the best cooks in the branch that can cook. And, you know, yeah. Um, Gordon Ramsay has nothing on me. Not in this day and age. Exit out, how fucking dare you? It's supposed to be two cups of sugar, though. Well, it doesn't have to be. I didn't want to make too much. So I only put one just to test it. I'm just testing it because I'm scared, Elena. I'm just scared. So I did one cup because I'm scared. We will see. Cooking with Scarl is always interesting and fun. I hope it is. As long as it isn't cursed, it's, a, it's not supposed to be. I hope this will work out good. I'm kind of worried I might have fucked it up already though. Best cooks in Niji is a low bar. You are not wrong there. There's a moth! Jack, there's a moth! Hey, go away! Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I think we're good. Delulu is not the Salulu. Chat though, what does it even mean to be Delulu? Is Delulu the Salulu to be Delulu of the Salulu that is also Dilulu of the Salulu? And that's what I said. What you say? Are you scared of moths? I'm scared of bugs in general. Chato, has there ever been a time of your life where you have where you have been subconsciously Delulu? And would you like to share it? Would you like to share your Delulu tendencies? Wait, where do I store this candy when I'm done? Oh shit. I'll just put it on here. Problem solved. Okay. Delulu is a delusion, right? Delulu, have you ever been Delulu, Chata? How much the sugar water? I don't, I think I might have fucked it up. Because, Chato, I think I fucked it up. Did I fuck it up? We'll just, have, should I raise the heat? I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna sit here and cut more strawberries. I'm just gonna sit here and cut more strawberries because I'm, um, I don't know. Oh shit, did I fuck it up, Chata? Oh shit. Hi Patrick, what's up bro? My voice is fucked and I think I might have fucked this up. Uh, do you need to stir it? Not really, but I stirred it at the beginning to, you know, just to help it. I don't know, that might have been a bad idea. Okay, hold on, I'm just gonna cut more strawberries really quick. One. Let me say so. 
And then three. Yay, 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 yay. Uh, did I fuck it? I'm Delulu Aridae, bro same. Bro same. Here a single day is Delulu. It's starting to bubble a bit, but no color change yet. See, hmm, we will observe. And worst case, I gotta do it again. Okie dokie. Chato, can you take me to Shabu Shabu? Chato, I wanna go to Hot Pot again. Hot Pot was fun with the girls. Can you take me to Hot Pot, Chato? Yay. Oh, it's low. It's, 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 is the sugar water equal ratio? Yes. Sukiyaki. Yeah. Did he burn the sugar yet? Does it look burnt, Charisma? Does it look burnt? I don't even. It, it's liquiding. I got a paper cut. How'd you get a paper cut? But we have hot pot at home, boils sugar, tips fruit. Oh my God. See, now that I've actually been to hot pot for the first time, like when I was in Japan, I want to do a more proper one, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned you did one cup of sugar when I asked for two. Well, I went lower, but then also some people said the ratio can be the same. Like some people said the ratio can be one to one. And I don't want to make like too much because it's literally only just for me. I think I fucked it though. I might have to redo it anyway. Hmm. It's boiling, but nothing is happening. Ha! Hot pot stream? Yeah, I've done a hot pot stream before, but I basically did it as like a fake hot pot fan because I've never went before. And now that I have gone, now I know what you're supposed to do. And now I know how it works, I guess. I think you'll be fine. I hope, but like, it doesn't look like it's hardening. Worst case, I'll just redo it. We'll just see what happens. If it doesn't like harden and change color in a little bit, I'll just redo it. Hmm. The bubbles. I swear I just heard a noise. I swear I just heard a noise. <sighs> well, how was your day, chat though? Anyone else got anything planned? Yes, I'm trying to make tanguru, but I think it's, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I might have to redo the sugar, but we're just gonna see what happens. Is it has how's your Korean barbecue by the way? I haven't been in a while. What you want to do more proper version of hot pot? Yes. Like cause now I know what it's like supposed to be like. It's like multiple different broths. I really like those squid balls when cause you're in Japan, that's where we went to Kabuki Chol for the first time, you know where Yakuza is taking place? We went to this one hot pot place and there was these yummy ass squid balls. Like there was so much different kinds of meat. And there's like different vegetables people like. There's other noodles and stuff. And I, yeah, so next time I want to do a more proper hot pot stream where I have more of the yummy stuff in there like that. Vacation officially starts today. Getting ready for the Ado concert on Monday. Oh shit, you going to see Ado's outfields? Holy shit, have fun, bro. Holy shit, have fun. Do we need more sugar then? Maybe. Because. I don't know, did chat, someone said it could be ratio to ratio, but I don't know if that works. Oh, I, I think it is hardening a little bit. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it. I think it is thickening a little bit. Cause when I stir it, it doesn't seem like water. Hmm, maybe I should try and test it. Let me put a, I just dropped a bamboo skewer. Let me drop a bamboo skewer in it. Is it viscous? Nothing's happening. I'm just gonna leave it. Trust the process? I'm trying. You shouldn't have mixed. Good luck paying for the propane. What fucking propane are you talking about, bro? Fish balls and mushrooms for hot pot, yum. I love those, I love the squid, you call it the squid balls. It's starting to look more syrupy, maybe. Yeah, I'm not gonna lick it, Louis PJ. You want me to burn my fucking tongue? You guys, just some of y'all just want me to get injured. Man, I hope it does look more like syrupy. Mmm, yummy, yum. I've never tried these before either. See, I like how a lot of these things I do hand cam streams for. Did we ever do a hot pot stream? Yeah, we have, but I did it when I never even been to hot pot before. 
So now I want to do one now that I've actually been and know how it works. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm having special soup from my cold from my culture today. We put fish cakes in it. Yummy! Yay! See what I think is funny that so many like food streams I've done are the ones that like I've never even tried them myself before. Mm -hmm. you, if you get injured, that means we have a broken skull to take care of. I'm already broken, Cole Corbin. I'm already broke. I'm already broken, honey. Mm -hmm. Well, you can cool it down and taste it if it's good. It's fine. I will. You should keep an eye on it once the bubbles stop looking foamy. Are they foamy? Let me see. I'm just going to leave it. Scarl, stop touching it. You sound broken. Yaz, my voice. You you even did the Beacle stream. I did. Well, I've had Beacle before because my dad would make it for us a lot. Let me see. I think I'm going to do some individual sticks as well where it's just one strawberry. Let me see. Let me see. So I'm off camera right now and I'm going to cut another strawberry and I'm just going to put one on one stick so it's alone. It'll, he'll be lonely, but he'll be fine. See, look, he's lonely, but it's okay. His name is Jeffrey. Here, Jeffrey, come here. There you are. There. I can't tell if it's working. Should I raise the heat? I don't know. I'm kind of scared to raise the heat, chat. What if raising the heat fucks it up? Jeffrey going to burn into molten syrup. Do not scare Jeffrey like that. Hi, Dark Darth Baca. Hi, baby. 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Do I even have a thermometer? Oh, I do. Thank you, Darth Baca, for the Siva one month. It will burn. Let me see. I did find, um, I found a thing. I found a thermometer. So we will try it today. We will try it, darling. I'm at a bay phone trying to call home all of my tears I spent on you. Okay, let's see. Ugh. Okay. Um, it's supposed to be a 300. Oh, okay. It is like, it's a barely 200. It's still going up though. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of just a 200. Should I raise the heat? Yeah, it's kind of just a 200 right now. Hmm. We can see, can we see it from the top? Let me see. Well, cause the angle is kind of hard, but let me see. Hmm, maybe turn it a little higher. See, this is where it is. You see the blue, it's like right there. I'll raise it a little bit. Ooh, please don't fuck it up. But it, please be careful putting the glass into the candy thermometer. Y yes, I know, Jose, but you know, it's, it's kind of what it's for, right? It's kind of purposely used for this, right? You know? I, I would assume, at least I would hope it is, you know? You actually have to leave the thermometer clipped on the side. It's okay, I, I, it doesn't have a clip, bruh. This one, I, I think it's broken. It doesn't have a clip or anything, so it's fine. Yeah, it doesn't have a clip, so it's cool. Don't worry, chat. Everything will be fine. We just don't want you to have a broken hand like last time. That would be a me problem. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they break a lot of the time. Yeah, see, I'm pretty sure this is my roommate's too, so I don't know. I put it up a little bit, so I think we're good. Yeah, that's what they're designed for. It's fine. Exactly. Scarlet's so brave, I know, right? For fucking cooking candy. Got the ice water ready? Nope, and I'm not gonna. <laughs> It'll be fine, I've literally done this before, chat, so don't worry. Like I literally said at the beginning of the stream, I've done like candy rim vampire drinks before, and if I fuck up my hand, fuck up my, I'll fuck up my hand. Don't worry. Don't you have proper cooking thermometer? No, I do not. No, I do not. Just be careful, Scarl, and enjoy the cooking. I, that's, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'll do my bestest. Fuck it, we ball. Exactly. Fuck it, we ball. <laughs> the candy thermometer works. Yes, it does. Let's give her a chance to cook. I know. 
I can do this, Chatha. I can cook sometimes. Yes. I think I might turn it up a little bit more though. We will see. No fucking up your hands. Oh my God. Hi, Nior. How are you, darling? I know you can be, you can just be precautious and I am. Yes. Let Scarla cook. I need to like get a sign that says, let Scarla cook. Yes. I doubt you're cooking and that's fine. You are allowed to, I mean, it's true. It's, it is true though, you know. My cooking isn't anything crazy. You know, it's a little wilding sometimes, you know. Make it neon, I will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's boiling. It's boiling, wow, wow, wow. Ooh. Should I do it a little? See, because it doesn't have a working clip, I'm gonna have to just hold it and hope for the best. I can't even tell if it's thickening or not. Let me see, let me hold it. Hello, hello, Otago, hi, darling. Uh, so it is getting up a little bit in the heat. My arm already hurts. Let me see, let me see. Uh, my arm hurts. It's still at 200. Hmm. I'm gonna up it just a little bit and I hope that will not be a mistake. It will thicken when you take it off the heat. Really? Huh. Then I kind of just keep doing it until it gets foamy or whatever. I think so. It'll be fine, it's not cursed pizza, so I'm not coping. Thank you, Paul Benny, thank you. And thank you, Rusufa. Let me drink water really quick. Ah, it is bubbling though, it is foaming a little bit. Yeah, because the molecules in the sugar will cool down, AKA physics. Big boy Doge is so smart. Why are you so smart, darling? Ah, la ba, go. Golf, yes, Leo Chain. I'm golf golfing. How long did it take the tutorial? Well, it depends, Flair, because the tutorial, like, you know, they edit shit, so it could could have taken longer. It depends, it depends, it depends. I'm gonna make one more little skewer. Let me see, let me see. Cut one strawberry. Let me see. Cut two strawberries. Cut three strawberries. Good. Yay, I did it. Huzzah. Because I had taken college physics, it was so annoying. Bro, I'm gonna be real with you, I failed college physics. <laughs> Bro, that physics is what killed my dreams of being like a robotics engineer. Like I said, back in the day, I was in the robotics club in high school and I wanted to make prosthetics and shit. And then I learned, Scarl, you're fucking stupid and you're dumb. And then my dreams of being a biomedical engineer went out the window. And now I'm a VTuber. <laughs> oh my God. Girl failure about to fail always. Sister Gregory's not always. Um, midterm, someone put, we got this on the whiteboard. Average was an F. Oh my God, I'm a Yumi. Oh my God. Sure it wasn't to make your robot lover. <laughs> okay, Chad, this is a weird question. If given the option, being a VTuber takes a fairly high IQ. <laughs> See, I'm laughing about that because I'm a fucking idiot. Because I am an idiot. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh my goodness gracious. But a question for you, Chatzel. You're dumb though. Who said that? Just scroll up. <laughs> Oh my God, you need to know math and physics to become an engineer. And you ain't smart, but good God gave you a sexy body instead. <laughs> Listen, the Lord can only give me so much. You know what I mean? The Lord gave me tits and an ass and an occasionally decent voice when I'm not fucking it up and long hair and was like, you know what? She's good, send her out. She'll be okay. She'll be okay in the real world. Don't worry about it. Yeah, she'll get turned down at regular jobs like Target and shit, but like, and she'll fail physics and classes, but like, she'll be fine. Send her out and make her five feet tall. <laughs> make it so she can't even be like a runway model. <laughs> what are we doing tonight? I'm making candy 
strawberries, Kirk. Thank you. See, we're gonna dump them in sugar out there, you see? Yay. But as of right now, we're just banking. Hi, Lance. Hi, baby. I'm trying to become a robotics engineer, too. <gasps> really? And went to my robotics club in high school, too. What the fuck? Oh, my God, Lance. We have so much in common. What is this craziness? Oh, my God. Thank you, Lance, for the big yellow soup. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. Yay. You can wear elevator shoes? No. But one question, chat, though, that I must give to you. Would you ever fuck a robot? Also, is this good? It's like changing a look. Uh, hmm. I don't think it's foaming enough. No? Yes. B Big Boy Dosh, you fucked a robot. Wait, legit? Wait, who remembers when Anime Expo had that one hentai thingy? Do you guys remember? Let me see. Candied straw berries without corn syrup. Daily Boopa Nose and Head Pat. Thank you, Prince Hawk. Thank you, thank you, darling. Thank you. Wait, what if it was a Gundam? I'd fuck a Gundam. I ain't even gonna lie. I would fuck a Gundam. If it was cute, maybe. Oh, you guys remember that? Yeah, at Anime Expo, there was like this. I don't even know what. To... Okay, who was at I, who was at Anime Expo that year and know what I'm talking about? There was like a like a booth where they had like, I don't even know, like a pillow thing and it was like a game and it's like a VR thing. And like, there's one clip of the dude, of a dude straight up just like humping it, like taking it to town. And I was like, bro, what the fuck going on here, man? Okay, so it has to be a lot more yellower than that. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Wait, you are supposed to put it in a bath? Oh. You are supposed to put it in a bath. Well, I stand corrected, Chato. Let me go get my... Er, I'll wait for the it to get more yellow. Yeah, I seen of that video you have. I saw the video of the robot hospital thing. I was like, bro, what the fuck? It was crazy. The guy was like full on just like humping it. Like in front of everyone. Like people at the con, passer buyers. People were just watching him fuck this robot thing. Are you not reading the recipe? I'm not reading one. I'm watching like a video of it. <laughs> See, this girl did two cups of sugar, one cup of water. So maybe that's why. Whoever told me to do same ratio, I mean, I think it's fine. I think it probably just takes longer, maybe. Oh my God, Lance, thank you for joining the apprenticeship. Thank you, thank you. Two cups of sugar, one of water? Yeah. But what do you call it? I was also told I could do the two, like the the one to one ratio. Yeah, I'm an auditory learner. I need to see it. More sugar helps the syrup faster. Do you think it's too late to pour it in now? Do you think it's too late? Hmm. For the love, for Scarla, for the love of not causing any more kitchen catastrophe, please read the recipe in full. Beginning to end before starting the stream. Make me, Solly, make me. Do not add sugar now. Yeah, we'll just leave it. You already had two cups of sugar in it? No, because I was also told one to one ratio works. But I think I just have to let it go a bit. I think it would be too late. Man, it should be fine though. You mean a visual learner? No, I'm an auditory learner and I need to see it. Yes, and I guess you do need like an ice bath. Yeah, it should be fine eventually. Auditories for hearing, listen, Flair. Listen, Flair, I'm gonna need you to silence. Hmm. Is it doing things? I'm gonna sit. Hello, chat. Yeah, sugar in general needs to be caramelized enough, especially the water trying to boil it. Mmm. Auditory is hearing, Scarla. I don't hear you. La 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 Hi, Chato. How are you doing today? Did you eat today, Chato? Did you drink water? Hmm? Uh-huh. 
She's an oh my god, Maroon Bass. I swear to God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep, that's an ATM. Eight pizza. What kind of pizza? Did you eat my favorite pineapple pizza today? Bro, I got one of those 40 ounce Stanleys. You got those, bro. Everyone is on that Stanley dick right now. Even my mom was like, can you get me this Stanley? I'm like, why? She's like, because it's all the rage right now. And I'm like, oh my God, mom. Everyone loves those Stanley cups, man. My urine is so clear. Thanks, big boy Doge. I needed to know that fact. I needed to know. Oh my God, Hawaiian pizza will be next week. I love Hawaiian pizza, bro. Oh my God. See, hmm, I kind of want to get one of those because one of the things um, my speech therapist told me was that I needed to drink more water. So I don't know about a Stanley, but I want to get like a big jug for like water so then I could just drink it and stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Huh. We'll see, we'll see. I do got a, a Gundam cat, cat, a Gundam canteen that I got at the at the Gundam base. Um, to get a three liter. The Stanley cups are just insulated water bottles that keep water cold. Oh, it keeps it cold. Oh, that's interesting. I want like a big jug, you know, just so I can keep a lot of water. Also, I'm so sad, Chad. The day is almost here. It's almost time for them to take down the freaking Gundam thing. I'm so sad. It's like, I think I even saw like a, thi a, twi like a thing on their twi Twitter where it was like the final day. And I'm like, oh no. Uh, I wonder what's the tea though. Because it's either, what is it called? Like I hear from some people, they're just moving it temporarily or they're moving it and just not taking it down completely. So like... I wish I knew like the vibe, you know what I mean? Yeah, but we'll see. We will see. We will see. We will see. <laughs> pizza. Speaking of pizza, local. I mean, that was so Wait, they're going to stop. Wait, really? Like a pizza franchise announced they're going to stop selling pineapple pizza. Wait, why? Wait, really? Props for maintenance. Oh, no, yeah, for the Gundam, it's like, oh, yeah, I just saw a post today that, like, tomorrow they're going to, it'll be the end of service. Oh, man. See, look at this video that I just saw on the Twitter. This one. Oh, good night, Mom Angel Cat. Thank you for coming, darling. See, let me see. Give us a Zeta Gundam IRL. That would be sick, bro. Nev I never went. It's okay, Kurt. There's like still more. There's the life-size unicorn one in Oldaiba. And there's another one. What is it? What's what's the one? There's a different one at um, Fukuoka. There's that one. I'm glad I seen the gun in Yokohama. Me too. Like, I'm glad I went because it looks so... Bro, I would pay big money because in there they have like the Gundam seat. I would pay big money to go in that seat and sit in there. The Zeta would have to transform. There's no way it can do that. Well, I, I think it would be cool to have like the Hyakushiki. I think that'd be tight. It's time to keep a close eye. I'm looking. I'm looking at it through the thingy. The new Gundam is not just for show. Aw, shit. The new Gundam is the tallest Gundam in UC Century. How tall are we talking? How tall are we talking, bro? I really want to go, man. I need to freaking finish Seed, though. That new movie's coming out soon. Do you like Evangelion? I've actually never seen Evangelion. I've actually never seen it. I hear it's emo and depressing. My chat told me, you know, it's one of those. So maybe one day I will see it, perhaps. Hi, Darth Baka. I bought some Gundam tubas. I was in Japan about the same time as you, but I got them in Shibuya. Oh, shit, really? Thank you, Darth Baka. Thank you for soup, pa. I still want to watch the long of it. See, because it's like a long series, I'm trying to watch at least most of it on my own. So we will see. I love Eva. Maybe we should, well, maybe of Eva, we can have like a watch along. Maybe, wait, no, because it's like a series, right? Because it's like a series. Maybe after finishing the entire Gundam series lineup. See, maybe we could do the movies. Because I think movies are, are easier to watch along than a whole series. 
unless you guys are okay with us like having like hours of watching those like hours of hours of hours so that means 25 meters big boy doge i'm fucking american what is 25 meters newer what the fuck newer why baby oh newer why lolo newer please you you spoil me too much darling you spoil me too much thank you newer honey thank you so much thank you newer thank you so much for the big pink sofa thank you thank you newer thank you thank you Mwah. go to bed you spoil me too much darling oh my god thank you newer thank you darling I really appreciate it, Nior. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you, Real Big Sopa. Gonna head to bed. Good night, Bob, buddy. Good night, honey. Scarlet, good night, Jethro. We'll look forward to your perfect candied strawberries. I'll make sure to post a picture when it's done. Thank you, Bob, buddy, for the soup. See, it's perfect because then we can still chat. And this stream will be three, four hours max. And then I'm ending. Do you think it's good? Hold on. Let me, let me. Let me see. I think we're close to the, I'm gonna get the ice bath ready. I'm gonna get the ice bath ready. Yeah, yeah, I'll turn it down. Okay, turn it down a little bit. Okay, 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 okay. Get the ice bath, because I saw that they did it in the video. They put it in ice like immediately after. Let me see. Getting the ice ready. Chad, I'm so scared. Oh my god, I'm so scared, Chato. Oh my god, I hope this goes okay. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, uh, uh, uh. okay. I got ice. I got an ice bath ready. Okay, okay. Hi, King. Hold on, give me a second. Oh shit. Uh, okay, wait, I think it's good. Oh, wait. Hi, King Grey. Hi. Hola, tu sexy señorita. Thank you for putting up with us and making us happy even during our tough times. Te amo. Oh, I love you too, King Grey. Thank you for super nine months, honey. Happy pregnant. Mwah. Wait, I think it's done. Wait, wait, wait. I think it's finished. Yeah? You can't see it, but like it's the color. Okay, I think now I can. I think. I think. Can I turn it off? It's done. Okay, I do got the wooden skewers ready. Okay, I got them ready. Should I, do I just go? Do, 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 I, do I just do it? Oh God, I'm so scared. Oh God, Chet, I'm so scared. Do I, do I just do it? Oh God, there it goes. It looks like yellow. You dip it, okay. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. And then, and then, and then. Ah. Oh. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me just put that one down. Okay, I gotta do it quickly, huh? I gotta do it really quick, huh? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, gotta go faster. Gotta go faster, gotta go fast. Oh shit, I don't even know how you do this one. Sonic number one. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh shit, please don't fall. Oh no, please don't fall. Oh, I really hope that one doesn't fall. Ooh, shit, 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 come on. Oh, freakazoid, oh, freakazoid. Ooh, okay. Ooh, oh, please don't, please don't, okay, okay. Oh, okay, it's in the bath. It's in the ice bath. It's in the ice bath, getting cold. Okay, I think we're doing okay-ish. I hope. I'm not entirely sure still. I'm just gonna put it on the rack and then I'm gonna get another one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, another one, another one. Chat, I just came up with something. How am I supposed to clean this after the fact? Okay, okay, okay. There, 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 there. How am I supposed to clean this? Oh, my roommate going. I should have made it do all the way at the top, but I was too scared. Oh, see, the little one's having a hard time. You see it? Yeah, I'm sorry the camera isn't like really good. Oh, there, there you go. Look at that. Okay, okay, so that's why you do the ice bath. Ooh, nice. Okay. Okay, it could be prettier. 
Oh shit. It could be prettier, but it's okay. Okay. Last one. Okay, okay. Because of scraping sugar. Making strawberry stream for sure. Shut up, Louis Peter. Thank you for sleeping. Okay. Next one. Here's another one. I'm just gonna dab it a little closer. Please don't stab my hand. Okay. Okay, there we go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Then we just go really fast, go really fast, and then just dip it in the ice bath. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I should have made more, but I was too scared. Oh, see, that one is smoking. We did it. Okay, if that stuff cools, don't down it. Oh my God. Yeah, I'll do an ASMR eating of them because these are crunchy. Okay, I think I have more strawberries. I can make one more really small one. This is kind of fun. These are kind of fun to me. As long as you don't burn your hand on the sugar. Yay! See, that one wasn't so hard. That was pretty, pretty cool. Okay, now I'm gonna make a couple more really quick. This is kind of fun. Yeah, you should do it. Okay, then we got another one ready. Gotta make sure you can see it, okay? Then we go whoop, 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 whoop. Oh no, the other one's like falling. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, okay. Ooh, drop it in the little bath. Stir, 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 okay. And now fling it upwards. And I'm running out of space here. Ugh. Eee. Okay. Yay! I did it! That's all! I did it! Okay. Chattel, do you know if it hardens, if it hardens for good? Got any wacky foods to go? Um, I got a Red Bull. Chat, would a Red Bull melt? Yay! Throw it away? Oh, man. If we heat, it'll melt. Okay, should we do the Red Bull can? Like, legit, should we? I think they turned out kind of cute. No, this one is leaking still. Chaco, look! No! Oh, man. Now it's sad. Now it's sad. It's like quarreling. Oh, man. I just want like one cute, perfect one for the gram. Oh, man. It looks like a weapon. See, I'm kind of, what the fuck was that noise? Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the camera again and then, wait, do we put them in the fridge? Wait, are we supposed to put them in the fridge? What does this recipe do? Hi, Sleepy Panda Corn. Sleepy Panda Corn threw $5 at Skull's Booba. Skull, if you like robotics and Gundam, I would recommend Zoids. It's a pretty good anime series. I've heard of that. I should check it out. Thank you, Sleepy Panda Corn. Thank you, Vanna Donna. Maybe twirl it more in the ice water. I mean, it's fine. I think at this point, it's just gonna harden. Let me see. So now I'm gonna bring everything over back to where it was on the table. Yeah, it still needs to harden a bit. I'm happy I did it. I'm happy that now it's like done-ish. Okay, I'm gonna try and carefully bring it over here. Oh shit. Ugh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, chat though, just give me like, oh, it touched me. Oh, well, it's not hot. Okay, cool. Okay, chat though, just give me like one minute to like, okay, Scarl, stop touching it. Okay. Yay! I did it. I did the thing. It's still dripping. Is it the water? I don't know. Okay. So now I'm just going to flip the camera around so it's back to where it was before. And then you're going to see them just chilling and vibing until they are cooled down. And then I'm going to give you what you want. I'm going to give you that crunch. I'm going to give you that crunchy, delicious, crunchy feel that I know you want. And I will give it to you. 
Okay, chat saw? Yeah. Shit. Okay, hold on. I'm just trying to set up my chair. Okay. Not the crunch. Yes. The crunch. Tandem Luang Samar, right? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Can't even see it. Oh, wait, that's right. It looks so weird like that. Okay, let me just fix it. Let me see. Okay, firstly, I gotta turn on the light a little more. See, look how pretty they look. Oi. What? <laughs> oh, my camera does not like red. That's what I noticed. My camera does not like red at all. Can you just... Yeah, my camera does not like red. Like, at all. Oh, it look, oh, it's like glitching so bad. I don't know why the camera doesn't like red. Like, this is an issue I've had before. It looks like, exact, it looks exactly like the YouTube short. Yay! I'm happy. Mm, it literally looks like it's glitching the fuck out. What if I turn down the light? Well, I guess it's gonna stay like that. I know they look so cute. I'm proud, chat, though. We did it. Now I'm gonna have to take off my shoes. Ah. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I guess if the light's not crazy, they don't glitch. Ah. Oh, okay. Let me do it a little bit. Okay, it doesn't like that at all. Okay, never mind. Chat, though, look how cute they look. Yay! I can't wait to taste them. Looks like a bubble. Nior, why? Nior, why are you trying to ruin my delicious, delectable treat? Excuse me, Nior. Ex excuse me, buddy. Why are you trying to ruin my treat for me? Hmm? Is there a problem? Why are you trying to ruin my delectable treat? How dare you? I want to make some too. You should. It's pretty fun. It's pretty easy to, like, now that it's done, it. Oh no, one of them's leaning on the other one. They're so wet. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. Like, it's like, they're still really wet. Hmm. Maybe shove it down. Bro, imagine, okay, this is kind of weird, but like, okay, so according to the video, they're ready to enjoy after you put them in there. Are you sure? They still look droopy to me. And like at the touch, like they're still dripping. See this girl on YouTube, she's saying that as soon as you put them in the ice water, they're good and ready to enjoy. But I'm scared cause like they're still like dripping a little bit. Hmm. Are you supposed to sit in the fridge for a while? I don't know. This girl, this girl is saying as, as soon as you put them in the rice water, you can eat it. But see, it's like still wet. Hmm. Try one, Pinkerton, I'm scared. Let me just take one cute picture for the gram. Chata, let me take one picture. One picture. Hi, Delstar, hi, darling. Delstar threw $5 at Skarl's booba. Those strawberries plugs will go up in value if they are used. That being said, it'll start the bid at $5. Do you want me to put these up my butt, Delstar? Is that is what you're telling me? Thank you, Dalstar, for the donut. Thank you. Do you. Are you telling me you want these up my bum? Why? Oh my God. So I'm gonna pick one to take in a door. It does, oh my God, wait. Okay, excuse the glitching of the camera. My camera does not like red. They do look, mm, now I'm sad. They don't, oh, now I'm sad. Thanks, chat. Oh, now I'm upset. Chathol, why'd you have to ruin it? Why? They're still cute to me. Mm. Let me see. Oh, my Red Bull move. I'm trying to take a good picture. My God. Hold on. Uh, let me see. They look so glossy. Oh my God. They look so delicious. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, let me see. There. They look pretty good to me. 
see, let me lower it. Yeah, I'm sorry, chat. For some reason, my camera does not like when when there's red on my camera, which is ironic because I am red. Wet and moist for the love nectar, I swear to God. Should I eat this one? Mm. See, okay. I'm gonna put on the it for a little bit. See, oh my God, camera. See, I have this one. You see this red one right here? Camera, please, I'm scared. Okay, okay, I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna try. And I'm gonna lower the light again and I'm gonna give you that crunch ASMR. I'm sorry my intrusive thoughts always win. Nior, I swear to fucking God. Thank you for the super. Hi, Misty. Hello, hello. Oh my God, out the reflection of these. I love walking into hearing some unhinged things, you gotta say. I blame chat for this, Misty. It is not my fault. Thank you for the super 16 months. Thank you. Can't wait to see your throat go. Shut the fuck up, Louis PJ. I swear to God. Thank you for the super. Um, don't let Ruby Chan take them to her room. I will not. Thank you, Del Zimmer Supa. Okay. Oh. Chato, lucky. Wait, let me put on the focus really quick. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to put on the light, even though it's not going to like it. But I want you to, like, see they look so pretty. Oh, it does not like that. Camera, why? See, focus on this one. Ooh, look at that, chat. Oh, look it. Wow. It's so pretty. Wow. That's my little finger indent. Don't worry about it. Mmm. See the little. Wow. I won't let it. Won't eat till you feed it to us. Here you go, Del Star. Ah. Uh, See, one of them, I, which one is, is it this one that's still, see, some of them are still dripping. Let me see. Wow. See, it looks cool. It looks really nice. Let me see. But for some reason, the camera does not like red. If they don't move, it's fine. Oh, okay, the camera's behaving now. Dripping, what? No, like they're dripping. I don't know why they're dripping exactly. Maybe it's dripping just water. Hmm. Probably. Okay, I'm gonna try it and I'm kind of scared to, but I'll do my best. Eh. Okay, it's hard. Chapel, be quiet. Okay, ready? Okay. Uh, hold on. Uh, they're dripping because they melted ice and got dipped into water. True. See, look. Yeah. That's my saliva. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Will it eat? Okay. Do you hear that? Chad, do you hear this? That sounds like something else. <laughs> do you hear that? Chad, do you hear that? What does this sound like to you? What does it sound like to you? I can't hear you, but it's, you know, wait, do, yeah, some of y'all hear it. I just dropped it on my microphone. Oh my God, oh my God, fuck me. Oh shit. No, I just ruined it. My microphone. That's what I get, honestly. Yeah, that sounded like some orifices noises. That sounded like orifices noises if I don't hurt any. Okay, now it's time to bite. I don't think it's gonna be cracking though. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh. Mm. Mmm. Ooh. These are so good. Bro, I'm so scared it's gonna break my teeth. Oh, bro, look at the strawberry. It looks like an orifice. Mmm. Oh, my teeth. Mmm. The candy is like sticking to my teeth. Mmm. Bro, these are good. They're good. But the candy is sticking to my teeth. Now I'm so scared it doesn't break my teeth. Uh, why are you eating candy from the bottom? What do you mean? I just bit it. Mmm. Ah. Yeah, that's the hard thing to suck on. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Because I'm so scared that's going to break my teeth. 
Let it harden more, but I want it. Oh, it's not hard enough. But I want to eat it. It was yummy. But it was so yummy, Tessa. You know what it tastes like? You know what it sounds like? It sounds like your orifices, Chata. <laughs> Please don't break your teeth. They were good, though. These are yummy. Okay, Chato. If there is sugar on it, do you think it kind of defeats the purpose of the strawberry? Because, like, this one, this will make me want to eat fruit more. But then I feel like it kind of cancels it out, you know? Scarlet now. Scarlet, yes. <gasps> Sounds like something out of a sus ASMR. True. Kind of? Hmm. I mean, that is true. Strawberries technically do already have their own natural sugar. That is true. No, enjoy the fruit. But I like the sugar. Yummy. Chato, what should I make next time? Why should I want to make halo halo one day still? You know, I've still never tried halo halo. I just eat strawberries. They're already really sweet. Disagreed. I want more. You would lose your teeth since you're... Shut up, Lance. I'm going to fucking hurt you. Lance, shut the fuck up. Thank you for the soup, Lance. How dare you? You still have to make those sour candies? Oh, I do. I really want to try. There's like a candy that's like... It's like black. It's the, it's the sourest candy in the world. And I really, really want to try it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I always have strawberries and sugars with cream. I love having strawberries with whipped cream. I think it should be okay. You still get the fiber and antioxidants at least. Oh, yeah. Glad I came out. Okay, Scar, I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night, Pinkerton. Thank you for coming. Have a good night. Chat, do you see my reflection in the strawberry? Really, 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 really. Making halo halo so we don't have to worry about you blowing up the kitchen. So what is in halo halo exactly? It's like taro ice cream, I think, right? Caramelized apple next, maybe. Halo halo with ice cream also tastes so good. Is it good? It is a risu D. I I just have to wait for it to harden because I thought it was going to break my teeth. Because it kind of got, the, the, the crystal kind of got stuck in my teeth a little bit. See, they're still dripping. You see? Ugh. What the fuck was that? Hold on. Did you hear that? Did you hear that pattering noise? Thank you, Avalanche, for the soup. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. It's I'm in the fucking kitchen, you dumb fuck. Uh, 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 I don't know what to do. Oh, uh, see? Okay, for those who don't know, tell freaking Kunai to get her little shits out of my house. 
Oh my god! No, yeah, for those who don't know, I live in like the back roads, like in the middle of nowhere. So, and lately, because of the weather, we've been having like a really bad rat problem where they're trying to get in the house because it's like raining and it's cold. And also they did construction in, in the road nearby. And after that, like we just been having like rat problems for a while. Take a picture. Oh, fuck no. Oh, hell no. I knew I heard little patter noises, but I did. <laughs> Touching it, you are high. Oh, chat, oh, chat, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> yes, it's behind me. Because the convention, because the convention oven is on the right of the stove. Bro, I am so fucking scared right now. I hate mice. I hate it. I hate everything right now. I swear I heard it. I swear I heard it. But I didn't know where. It had balls fucking moving when I was streaming. Hugs the scared Venus. Scared New York. I want to go to my room, but I'm scared. Uh, thank you, New York, for super. I'm so scared. Uh, uh, stop screaming. Put the strawberries in the refrigerator. Wash your dishes. I am not washing the dishes right now. It is right there. Oh hell no! It's not going to hurt you. It's gonna crawl near me. Thank you, Vizu, for the super. I am not. Can we name this what I mean? Scott Graham. I fucking swear to God. Thank you for the super. I just want to go to my room. This is why I don't like streaming in the kitchen anymore. See, I literally told myself this. I was like, bro, what? Del Star threw $5 at Skarl's booba. Your cooking is so bad that the mouse decided to drop everything and help you cook after witnessing your questionable cooking. Ratatouille 2 looking good. I swear to God, Del Star, fuck you. Thank you for the soup. Bro, I swear to God, I was even telling myself, dude, if you stream in the kitchen, you're probably gonna see a rat. And I was right. It's like a tiny one. It's like a baby. But that means there's more of them, which I hate living here. I hate living in the back skirts. I wanna, I hate living in the Goonies. Chat though, help me. Oh my God, I hate it, I hate it. I am so scared, chat though. Oh, we're probably gonna end in like 10 minutes. Maybe I'll stream again in my room later, but like, I'm so scared. I'm so sorry, landlord. Um, I will, see, I feel so bad because I'll leave a sign of like, I'm sorry, landlady, there was a mouse and my landlady is not a little bitch. She will go get it and like deal with it. But then my ass is gonna scream here and cry. Read treats for now. Oh yeah, as soon as I get the three hours, I am dipping, I am leaving. Hi Thug, hi Thug Shaker, how are you baby? <laughs> Sorry. Hey Scarlet, I've been living under a rock for the past few months, that's okay. What the hell's going on? This is why you need to clean your room. I'm not in my room, Thug Shaker, I'm in my kitchen. And I, we've been having so many lately just because of where I live, like lately, especially because like I said, a lot of them started coming after they did construction on one of the roads. And after that, we just been literally having like infestation sometimes. Like I swear in a week we found like five. Like I hate it here. And it, they're always in the kitchen. They are always in the kitchen. Thank you, Thug Shaker, for the soup. Uh, thank you. Oh my God, you should stick a tape trap. It works well. We we've been doing that, but like because it's low key and infestation, they keep fucking coming. You know, like we've found like ten plus already. Like it just sucks. Cause. <laughs> I hear it. What 
is it doing? I could literally hear it like it's under the oven. What is it doing under there? Can you cut your shit, bro? Bro, I can literally hear it like it's under the oven. That means there's like two. That means there's one under the convention oven, and that means there's another one in my actual oven. I hate it here. I want to move so bad. I literally hear it. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's, where's the flying roach or mouse? I hate everything, bro. I'm literally being a little bitch like on my table right now. Cause I'm like so scared. Oh my God. Thank you Delta for the sofa. I can fucking hear it. What is it doing? I'm gonna fucking scream, dude. This is literally the best stream ever, thanks. No, it's not, you shit. Thanks, Dells Ever the Supa. Did he turn off the stove? Yes. Bro, I literally hear it like it's biting or something in my oven. Like, can you hear it? I don't think, can you hear it? Uh, oh my god! Uh, uh, Exterminator fun, it's okay. Future cooking streams at Banathas on the mac and cheese pizza I suggested before. I'd offer a room in my place with cats and no rodents, so that would be very slush. It's okay, Tim, it's thank you so much for the heart of those old fun. Uh, thank you. Oh, I want to cry. Please don't hurt me. I literally fucking hear it. Can you go away? Oh my God, the rats are procreating. I don't want to know that, Lance. Thank you for the supa. Put the strawberries away before it gets them. I'm literally right here. I'm gonna scream and cry. <sighs> Thank you, Mithy Jeff, for the supa. Damn, girl, I just got back from KBBQ and it looks like you actually made something edible. I did play your cards right and just, I might read to marry you. Thank you, Theo Grass, for the supa. Thank you. Right now, I'm losing my shit because there's like two rats in my kitchen. <laughs> Is Carla just at the stream again? I'm gonna room. Uh, I'm so scared. I'm gonna call my roommate. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Landlady, if you're watching this, which I hope you're not, um, I'm terribly sorry. I'm too scared to do the dishes because there is a rat under the convention oven, and there is one under the the other oven, and I am so scared, bro. I need to get the sugar out at least. What am I gonna do with it? Chad, I hate it here. Oh my God, we, I might literally have to call an ex, we might literally have to call an exterminator. Like I said, we've been doing, we've been, do, we've been dealing with this shit for a while. Because like I said, with the weather, and I live in the Goonies, like I live in fucking back roads. And um, like I said, they were doing constructions on one of the roads where I lived. And after that, like even our neighbors, even my neighbors that don't even live close to us are having like rat and like mice trouble. So it's literally not just us. And I wish, you know, you know, I wish that like the state or the city would do something to help us, but they're not. So that's great. Just like dealing with rats everywhere in my house. That's fucking super. <sighs> I have grabbed rats by the bare hands. Do it, girl. Oh, Theocrass, I would rather fucking die. I would rather oof in Sims 4. Thank you, Theocrass, for the supa. How's your chance to sleep with Rumi Chan? Bro, I already ran in my room and told Rumi Chan because I knew she was awake because she came in earlier. And I told her, there is a two rats in the kitchen. She's like, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm done filming my TikToks in like 10 minutes. Just give me a second. So after that, my roommate's gonna come here and we might do something. I don't know. Or we'll just scream and cry. Not really sure. I'm kind of very scared right now. Thank you, Louise B. Day, for the super. Why is the landlady called an exterminator already? Well, well, because my my landlady, she told well, I don't know. My landlady told me she's never dealt with like this situation before. Which is why we think it's literally the, like when they did construction on the roads, that's like literally right in front of the house, like the road, is when like they started coming here to hide. And, but my room, but my landlady was like, I've never had like a rat problem like this. Like I've lived in this house for like 
30 plus years like this has never happened before so my landlady she's kind of just hoping it goes away but like bro this is a nightmare Maranita, please be careful to think this happened on my birthday. Happy birthday, fellow C. The thing I will was cooking, Sally didn't have him look for the April Fools. Oh, well, happy birthday, fellow C. Thank you so much for the Zumba. I hope, what I, I, it's okay, honey. I hope you, you get a better meal and I hope everything is okay. Bro, I was supposed to be taking care of my voice and now I'm just screaming. Thank you, Bella C, for the soup. And again, happy birthday, darling. I hope you get to do something cool and fun. <laughs> Since you got a bright problem, why not play vermin? You want me to sh oof myself, sh Shuri. Oh my God. Jasper says, happy birthday. I want to scream and cry right now. I love how I was supposed to be protecting my voice. But this is the freaking worst of it. <sighs> okay, chat. I'm so sorry for the really, for, for really short stream. I'm, I might, I might stream later. Maybe, maybe. <sighs> we will see. I'm going to get my fucking shit. I'm gonna get up the fuck out of here right now. And I'm gonna go to my room. <laughs> and I'm gonna go tell my roommate that there's more rats in this house. Many things eat rats. Coyotes, dogs, cats, get one. Oh my God. Thank you, Theocrats, for the soup. But our dogs don't do shit, Theocrats. We got two bulldogs. They don't do, well, Prince might. My Phoebe, Phoebe would not hurt anything. Phoebe's a baby. Phoebe's not a baby, but she acts like one. She'd probably give it a kiss if she saw the rat. Phoebe is not the ideal dog for these kind of things, which is ironic because she's a bulldog, but she doesn't do shit. Mm, she's a lazy ass. Thank you, the aggressive with the super. Stop apologizing for short stream. Let's go, just go. I will. Thank you, Delta, for the super. Yeah, I don't, is Prince even here? I don't even know. I think my roommate's fiance must have taken him. Okay, um, I know it's been only, th I'm gonna go and stream and I'm gonna carry my shit to my room and I'm gonna go bug my roommate to help me because I am so scared. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Chato, I just can't wait to see it. Chato, I'm so scared. <laughs> oh my god. I swear, I still here. Okay. I'm just gonna go and stream. Please do not soup on me right now because I am not gonna see it. Okay, whoever wins, wins. Okay, you win today. You win. Okay, the win, the, you win. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of this fucking shit. Goodbye, Chesa. New I swear to God. Thank you, New York, for the super. Bye, Scarlet. Be careful. Okay, I will, Dilster. Thank you for the super. Bro, I just got your cyborg. I'm sorry. There is a rat infestation in my house. I am going to not stoop on me right now. Hey, friggin', you win, okay? You win. I will be right back. I'm going to get the fuck out of here because fuck, fuck this place. I'm, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye, chat. I'm getting the fuck. I'm getting up.